welcome back to Evil Paul, everybody. Thanks for joining us on the game where six people delve into the darkness in order to find themselves, but instead they just become sad. I'm your host, uh, the Arbiter of Sadness. How's everybody doing today? It's not an I'm sad. Good. Sad. Uh, yeah. Sad. Yeah. Oh, we're starting at an even level, I'm but angry probably going to get We're probably, probably going to fall, gonna fall at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all went for that joke. All the same. <laughs> <laughs> had an even fall. It was the alley. I just did the oop. Indeed. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> thanks, Barton, for the 20 Australian. I uh, hey. hope y'all are having a great night so far. Good luck with your rolls, and have a good game. Thank you. Thanks, uh, friendly reminder that Sari also can throw Colton across the room at any time. Congrats on, again, on both your engagement again. Yeah, that is, Thanks, uh, checks out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's true. Jack saw it. I've also been thrown by Sari across uh, the room. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sari could pull Scary. out like a, like a sword and be like, sword. Colton, I'm going to show you this sword. like puncture move I learned. And she'll stab you and you'll bleed out and you'll be like, oh, that was really good, babe. And she'll be like, no, you'll yeah. <laughs> and then she'll be like, and now you're bleeding out of this vein. And you're like, oh, I am. I'm learning so much right now. <laughs> and happening? then you would pass out and she'd be like, now I'm going to show you all the surgeon class I actually <laughs> And then she stitches you back together and then resuscitates you. And you're like, I'm so proud of you. I'm and I'd be like, what the I'm going to show you the divine magic I learned to cure yeah, yeah. his wounds. In Canada, <laughs> to, this is just a class to, you can to be, to be fair, the throw was intended to be for stage combat. The problem is that I didn't do my part and landed uh, on the back of my head. <laughs> That's great. I'm beyond the throw. I'm just this. If you guys want to know what Colton and Sarah are like as a couple, it's like that. Um, I, I don't think I can argue it. The problem here. Funny. Uh, anyways, uh, let's jump into tonight's game of Fallen into the Even. Uh, last we left off on uh, on our game. Um, golly, who wants to do it? You should. Yeah. I think I did it last time. Bro, you must be what my strength score was. You have away. things like, that you're doing, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's you, Tyler. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Um, yeah, it's your arc. Last <laughs> game, we had just recently met up with a good old friend of ours, the skeleton lord, Nair. Um, Indeed. Great guy. Um, yeah, rips the hair right weird off. Weird dude. <laughs> Yeah, um, and he had told us that in order to get his skeleton key, we would have to go to the crashed fortress of his and try to reinvigorate it. But why do you need the skeleton key? You need the skeleton key because someone who's not at the table right now... Um, avoiding, <laughs> avoiding responsibility. Avoiding responsibility. Um, oh, Kurt. It's like you never left. Uh, just uh, went through and used their wish to, um, from their luck blade, to uh, completely remake their entire character again. <laughs> um, <More photos. laughs> Kurt, uh, Kurt was reborn. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, rebuilt. Born in the hatred. Mm -hmm. yeah. of, Re of Re the rebuilt. Exactly. Uh, but did it on the grounds of the Shadowfell version of uh, the Blackburn Manor and mm -hmm. uh, caused the Shadowfell to go, nope, get out of here. Um, and so we were locked out of the Blackburn Manor for a while, so we mm -hmm. need the skeleton key in order to unlock it. Indeed. Um, we. Nair had, Nair had one, said he would give us one if we could um, bring the mansion, uh, not mansion, uh, fix his castle. Yes. Um, we, went, we went down there. There was another skeleton lord there with um, mm -hmm. super spooky, big, tall, creepy monster that I forget the name of. Um, A night, night walker. Night walker. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Um, we killed... We killed both of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we, could, we, 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 some of us got a little badly hurt. Well, no, 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 no. I got resuscitated. <laughs> I was like, you dunked on that night walker we with opportunity did. attacks. Yeah. I threw in one. Grotz. <laughs> Grotz was last puppet, was puppeting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grotz was puppeting uh, Philip the, for most of the game. Um, the, the entire time. Yeah, we killed the night walker with opportunity attacks. Lilia had thrown a uh, prophet of death onto Graz. <laughs> we brought it down. Um, we got that 
skeleton lord, skeleton key. Some of us went up and um, into the castle, met up with the creature that kind of mirrors us again and made us all sad. It then left the building and then made the rest of us that, left, that, that waited outside oh. also sad. Um, but then they went up and um, uh, put in a magic item into the thing, had a conversation with something in there, and left behind the talent slash wand of Orcus that we had lost a while ago. Um, yeah. We did Failing lose. went mine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what were the options? You could give it to the demon one. lord. I got sticky hands. I'm not going anywhere. Or Kurt. Um, <laughs> we then oh return. We, we return to Nail. Mm-hmm. We, we return to Nail. He gave us his skeleton key. We now have two skeleton yeah. keys. Um, apparently, uh, if you break a skeleton key, you get a boon of some sort. And there was a skeleton <laughs> that was from Nair's um, named Paul. And no. uh, <laughs> Stitch really wanted to be friends with Paul. And Paul really wanted to be friends <laughs> with Stitch. And so Paul didn't really say anything. He seemed he like he seemed wanted to be friends. He was stinking really hard. Huh? <laughs> he, he, it was then uh, given the, one of the spare skeleton keys that he broke in half um, and received the boon, which we found out after the game. Was a wish. Was, Your characters do not we, know this. We do not I know want this, you to know, if Stitch had known it was a wish, he would have broken it to uh, <laughs> make Paul be in his service or have a mind. Uh, it would have basically awakened Paul. <laughs> so, we Paul know that. No, we did so, not know that. We don't person, even know what, what he wished for. Person with no, the burden of uh, All we know is that his eyes turned green and is now following Stitch. You've put me um, in prison. We then went back to the manor. We used the key to um, um off the barrier. And then we went inside. Um, it's spooky inside. Um, Phelan saw a uh, figure down uh, on the upstairs hallway. We followed into it into like an endless hallway, and then. All right, here. so uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a thing. Everybody watching right now, um, I, I've already told them uh, this, but this is also for you guys. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a retcon. Um, at the end of last game, I kind of was making it up as I go, I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but at the end of the game, I sort of realized that it wasn't exactly uh, what I had planned or what I had wanted once I was figuring everything out. So we're gonna go back, um, for those of you that had tuned into last game. Um, we're gonna uh, forget about the doors and the, the uh, hallway that you guys had gone down and all of the stuff that Kurt had done in that room and what you guys had saw on the inside. Instead, we're just gonna reverse back a little bit because um, that's what we do here. Welcome to Arcane Arcade. You're the DM and you said so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So uh, you guys have made your way into the mansion. Um, you've walked into the front door. Phelan, you've still seen that movement at the top of the stairs beyond that door. And that's where we're going to start tonight's game. It's just at that moment. You guys are in the, the center of the mansion. There mm-hmm. is uh, uh, there's this, all of the, uh, the carpet and the... Um, the, the, the drapes on the windows are like this deep purple and red sort of color, um, but it's completely empty, silent. You can just hear what sounds like a thunderstorm on the outside. Um, uh, there's just hardwood sort of everywhere. It's this deep sort of uh, deep brown sort of color, but mostly sort of like a grayish black. Um, the interior of this mansion is beautifully furnished, um, it, but there's this fine layer of dust over everything. Like nothing in here has been touched for a long time. It also appears nobody has stepped foot in here in a very long time. There's that musty, sort of ancient smell. <coughs> However, everything is still upkept. And as you walk into the, the, um, the, the entrance of this, of this mansion, sort of the two stairways going up to uh, the top level um, with those doorways that go to different hallways, um, the fireplace to your left like uh, ignites with flame um, magically somehow, though it does emit some sort of heat. Um, it's eerily quiet, except for the thunder on the outside. What are you doing? When we move through the space, do we like disturb the dust on the floor, or is it Yes, like you do. As you walk over and you step on like uh, the 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 wood, and as um, which doesn't really creak either, as you step on it, it's just sort of that flat, sort of hard uh, floor. Um, you uh, uh, you do leave like a footprint in the dust as you go. Each of you do. Um, okay, so it's not like it's outside of time, like yeah, outside of like, like 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 a. 
the kids. <clears throat> I, I see what them. you were going for. Yeah. yeah. So, I if it was spooky. All of the windows as well appear to just uh, stare off into a deep gray, overcast sky. Sort of a little bit of blue in it as well. Not the same as the Shadowfell. There's also streaks Dude, of, uh, of water sort of running down the sides of it as rain pelts the outside of these glass windows. And you can see occasional shocks of thunder creating the only light within this place besides the glowing of the fireplace. Uh, I'll pull up my sword and light it up. You light it up. Um, it uh, reflects off the distant uh, Keeps alongside the house, like there's, uh, there's like the uh, above the fireplace. Um, there's like this like gold sort of uh, wall design that kind of goes across the top. It sort of reflects off the side of that. Um, there's maybe a couple of urns um, along uh, uh, some uh, upper parts of the Sorry. walls. Urns. Yeah, okay. like golden urns. Um, some of them have different sizes. Birds. Birds. No. <laughs> Roll into them. No, no, no. Uh, and you also see. A couple of framed art pieces on the wall as well that have uh, that. What is that outside of that a called? Frame? A frame. Yeah. <laughs> it has like a gold frame, um, and they're intricately sort of designed, um, and it reflects off of all of those. When the well. lightning strikes, do the figures in the painting turn into like skeletons? Gold. Roll perception. <laughs> oh. Shit. I asked the wrong question. Or the right. Or the one. right one. Ooh. Nineteen. Good as you stare that. off at one and you hold your sword up and as you look, you see what looks like a painting of a um, of uh, a woman sort of sitting on like a t on, a, on a regal uh, red chair, um, and uh, she has this long sort of dress, uh, she's makeup. She looks very beautiful. She sits forward, looking um, with her hand down at the front, very serious expression. And when the lightning does strike it, it transforms into that of like a ghostly fi uh, oh, visage shit. as it does. Shit. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh wow, that's uh, that's spooky. Okay. Phelan's already mm -hmm. like halfway up the stairs. He's hey, going Faye, after could that. we maybe get a little light in here? Follow uh, Phelan. Oh, <laughs> St Stitch will just kind of follow behind. It. Where are you going, Phelan? There's a figure at the hallway. Uh, I figured. <laughs> figure at the hallway. Figure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't really have anywhere else to yeah. go. Yeah. Are you going to head up? Where uh, figures let's, let's, are usually, you know. I think, should, I think it's probably better if we try and stay together than wandering them. I feel like you've given us that sure. advice before. Okay. I, I feel like we've gone back in time. <laughs> <laughs> we've done this. We can all go after the figure together. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> he's still halfway up the stairs. What if this is Jacob's Just master cool. plan and we're going to go through doors and he's going to. <laughs> no, wow. this is the team building episode. You toss the drift globe so we get a little extra light. Oh yeah, he's already ha has it out. Oh, like okay. he's putting it down. It sits full we'll by like him. PT, we gotta figure out the puzzle. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll pass on that, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'll follow that one. Mm -hmm. You go up the stairs, sort of this, um, there's wooden stairs, like a rug that goes up it, and as you step up it, um, your footsteps are muffled as you make your way to the top. Um, you go to the door that's slightly ajar. Uh, do you open it? Okay. As you open it, it does lead to a hallway, but unlike before, it's not this impossibly long hallway. Um, you see an end, maybe about 30 feet down. Uh, there's this wallpaper that covers uh, this wall. This is extremely nostalgic to you, Lelia. It's things you don't even remember that were memories for you. You remember seeing this hallway and running down it as a kid, chasing after your brother. You remember um, being called down the stairs for dinner. You remember uh, uh, your father reading you stories in some of the chairs down at the, down at the table. These memories just come flooding back to you that you had forgotten, like legitimately forgotten that were there. As you look down the hallway, um, Phelan, you see what looks like uh, a, uh, there, are, there are four doors. There are um, two on each side, and then it does go to the T intersection at the back of the hallway. There's this large mirror, gilded, with a golden frame on the outside, um, and you can see reflection on the other side of it. But you watch in that reflection, you see what looks like, so if you're looking at the mirror this way, there's two hallways that go this way, you can see what looked like movement of two figures move down the hallways this way in the mirror. Oh, but they're just, it's so quick that you don't see what they look like, they're just gone. And they make no sound. Especially with your 27 passive perception, <laughs> they are silent. silent you even question if they're really <coughs> real. Um, he's not going to step foot, he's going to wait for everybody to okay. join him. Kind of. Door's wide open now. The door, as you open it, sort of 
just creak until finally silent. <laughs> the door wanted to be creaky. <laughs> Didn't have to be. So there's only one door? There's, there's uh, a hallway that goes down about 30 feet, and there are uh, two doors on each side. And then a mirror? Uh, and, then, and then a mirror at the back, yeah. The rest of you have not seen any movement. This is purely failing. And none of those doors are open? No, none of them are open. They're all closed. Closed does not mean locked, though. Any, any of the doors mean anything to you? Lilia, you know that the, uh, the, the first one on the left is yours. It's your, your childhood room. Jesus. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe one of them has some meaning to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's my bedroom. You, you strangely cannot recall what the others are. Like, baby. Like, you try and you try, you just don't remember. I remember one. Point to me. Well? That was mine. Oh, mm. shit. After you then. I don't remember the others, so it's. That's not his it. voice. <coughs> Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like bumped into like a wall. <laughs> You're like, I know that one. Stitch is like, Stitch went sorry, to go, I, I he, had something in my throat. And then his head just... <laughs> <laughs> like, no, he went to go in the door, but it's actually a pool door, and he went to push it. He went... <laughs> <laughs> there was also two figures at the end okay. in the yeah. mirror. It's just right yeah. in like, you know, right where your knee is, like that little in-between on the bones. Okay. Right um, there. I, mean, I, I don't know when more, any more than you guys were there. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, this isn't my room. This is your room. Yeah. It's okay. kind of. Then it's right next to the door. Let's check there first. And uh, right. Lucius said we had to uh, find a way to, you know, get past, go, get into like the spirit realm or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck to. Yeah. Great. Right. Fortress, be place fortress to, memories. Good place to start there. Yeah. There's a lot of good and bad memories. Then after you. We've got to back. Before you do so, as you're sort of talking, um, you uh, as you uh, sort of turn and look over at the hallway again. Um, which, by the way, has this wallpaper that's sort of like this deep, sort of red and purple with this background. It's like a floral sort of look on it as it goes down. Um, and uh, you uh, uh, look over and you watch as uh, the lights in the room, in the, in the hallway, that are lit by um, uh, uh, like a chandelier in the center, just begin to like flicker. And like it starts to get darker and darker. And you watch as uh, the door that you're about to go over to, wham, slams open and hits the other side. It's extremely loud. Something wants to in there. <laughs> I just got, got <laughs> I'm just like standing in front of the door. I'm like. Phelan well. was right behind Lilia, but now he's not. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, he's, he's, he's oh, gone. 27 he's gone. passive perception. That was probably so loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your ears are ringing. <laughs> you got flashed, um, man. <laughs> well then. Um. You now can peer into the room, <laughs> yeah. and you see what looks like a um, childhood room. There are these three windows on the back that are long. The ceiling oh, is extremely in. tall, about maybe oh, uh, so 30 warm. feet in height. Not vaulted, but there's a chandelier in the middle that comes down made of black iron that is not lit. All of the candles on M in the middle are pristine. The windows have these uh, 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 have these uh, lacy sort of drapes going down, and there's just lightning and that, that, that cloud that you can see outside that storm. The rain kind of pattering down as it hits against the walls. You look over and you see your room, just as perfectly as you had left it. As you uh, 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 look around the room, you see your bed sort of off in the corner. Um, it's more in the center of the room. Uh, it's perfectly made, but cut, everything is covered in a layer of dust. And you see your doll sitting on the bed in between two pillows. You also see a distant toy box, closet, um, rocking chair, um, and drawers, cabinets, wardrobe. Everything is as if it was never gone. So you make your way in. You uh, uh, watch as the... Uh, Uh, 
as you begin to step in, the, the, the lights in the hallway begin to flicker again. I swear to God, Jordan. It's no good. Yeah. I'll follow but it's a, other, otherwise silent as you make your way in. And then you hear like, coming from like the windows, like they creaked for a moment. And you, as you look over, you just see, you just watch as like the windows sort of like, they like shuddered a bit and then like stopped. I'm gonna walk over to the windows and okay. kind of count, peer out. As you peer floor. out, it is, um, you look down and where you would see the ground, it's just fog. And as you look up into the horizon, it's just endless clouds. There's nothing out there. It also doesn't match what's outside on the shadow fell. Mm -hmm. okay. um, you go in? You walk in? Yeah, I'll join. Keep an eye out for ghosts. Kurt will take in here. Kurt will keep a uh, stand in the doorway and just kind of keep an eye on the hallway. So. All right. I guess welcome to my room. Oh. You do? Kurt, there's lots of drawers in here you could go through. <laughs> give, my, give her room the same treatment you give mine. Nah. No? Not terribly interesting. <laughs> the wardrobe begins to batter around. There's something like in the wardrobe. <laughs> and it like rocks back and forth. You know, well, that seems uh, <laughs> unnatural. I'm not kidding. You want to... I can sort of stop she for a moment. It's probably better you than me. And you hear, ah, ah, coming from the inside of it. What? Uh. <laughs> As you open it, a raven just flies out, flies into the hallway, and it flies down the hallway. And it's gone. Can I see it? It's a bird. The raven? Yeah. Hey, it was good. Hey, everybody, a raven just flew down this hallway. Yeah. It's gone. I mean, it's quick. Oh, it came from hallway, the hallway. Did it go like? <coughs> does it go here or did it go like? It like turned. Stairs? <laughs> but which, which way did it turn? Left. Towards? <laughs> Kurt's like, holy shit! <laughs> it's a bird. Jacob, oh. it's like, yeah, I'm gonna do a little more from you. Is <laughs> left towards it. the mirror or away from the mirror? It flies out of the room, into the hallway, past Kurt, uh, towards the mirror, left of the mirror. All right, because it's a T. It that doesn't. Right. So the mirror is at the end. Uh, is at a T. It does it extremely right, right. quickly. I forgot that it was at a T intersection. Sorry. Yep. 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 I forgot about the T <laughs> intersection. I was like, if it flew towards the mirror, it just went through it. So that's why I was asking. That makes a lot more it sense. Moves ex it moves very, very quickly. Not <laughs> necessarily panicked either. It's okay. as if it kind of knew which way it was going. But it moved extremely fast. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. I, I forgot about the T intersection. I was like, did it go down the stairs or into the mirror? Hmm. That makes a lot more sense. Because <laughs> uh, there was two figures that went down both T intersections, what Phelan saw, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he did mention Maybe, uh, no, but those figures went from inside the mirror, I think is what we saw. Okay, the mirror. it was like we saw a reflection of people going this way and people going that way. You know how you see uh, reflections bouncing? Uh, That's... I see. Yeah. Do we follow okay. the raven? Um, Probably. It's her domain. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. I mean, all this would be kind of terrible. But, um... I don't want to see anything else. Did you guys find Lily's nudie mags in there? Oh my god. No. Are you looking within the wardrobe? Yeah, sure. I'll it's it's empty. Um, mm -hmm. Other than what looks like a small scroll on the ground. Wasn't she like eight the last time was she was in this say. bedroom? Hey, look, no ten. judgment here. I was <laughs> ten. It's like that doesn't make it any better. <laughs> the implication. Hey, look, there yeah, might be something scroll. there. Not there like might be something on there on the ground. No, it's it's like a, it's like it's just like a tube of old paper. Mm -hmm. I'll pick it up and. Well, you as we're talking about Lily having nudie as mags at age 10. <laughs> as a seal on it. The seal is that of like a raven. It's questioning it. Uh, <laughs> break it and open it. And you open up what looks like uh, uh, a poem. It's this long poem that reads out, but you notice that there are pieces that are missing from it. As you open it, you watch as falling onto the ground are uh, not pieces of paper, but literal um, letters that are combined together, words made out of, you have no idea what they're made of, but they, the they hit the ground. 
There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you, did you print out one for everyone? Is it? I did not. Oh, I'll just have the one. Tree. <laughs> Could you uh, maybe poetry. print out one for everyone? Huh? I was I'm thinking once you read it, you could read it out loud, and then you could put it over on the on the on the. Well, we need to put it together too, though, right? I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna put the the scroll out onto the bed, to, so people can look, gather around and see <laughs> it. You touch the bed. <laughs> You know, dust. You yeah. magnet poetry. Yeah. <laughs> this is Put those aside for now. Yeah. Read the whole thing if you like, That's and then I'm you guys can, can decide what to do next. Remembrance I give to thee. The path is shut. You need the key. Pages blink, for I cannot see. Remembrance, and you are free. Justice blinded by his enemy. He clings to his soul so desperately. Another walks his path so easily. In the end, he succumbs to what? A chariot dashing down a trail, his path shrouded by the veil. Mystery does the end entail, as is fate for him to blink. Judgment keeps her awry, black smoke filling the sky. Unknowing after she'd vivify, as her memories would blink. Fortune is all he'd need, so desperate he'd kill and bleed. All expectations he'd exceed, now he would reveal, revel in his blink. Death is how he'd awaken, all those he loved were taken, yet with all that determination, he's, re he's remembered as one who's Wand of many persuasions, an ace or sea raven, they who would be so brazen lives in a cycle of blank. I put it in the chat and I'll also for all you guys at home, I'll drop it in the Discord. Cool. Thank you. What are the... Uh... These weird words that I'm just holding words. I don't even know how this works. They feel, um, it's strange, they feel liquidy. They're almost like ink, but they don't uh, blade under your hands. I was going to say, can I, yeah. can I Arcana check that? Yep. I'm probably not necessary. Can I also try? Curious. Yeah, you can. Oh. The door. Hey, Emma. The door. Would you get the door? Oh, I don't think 25? I have a bonus. Uh -oh. Wait, wait, wait. Like? I could get better. Yeah. I could get better. <laughs> What's your bonus to Arcana? Ten. Ten. Yeah. Um... All right. Phyllis in the background, just like, hmm. Oh, and then if you want, that looks if you like could, magic. it does. Or you're just, you're just going. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, uh, uh, if you want to um, sort of put it in the middle, yeah. so like, that everyone can yeah. uh, can take uh, a shot at it. Because I don't know. Did you get Phil down? Ten. 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 Ten, it's ten okay. or ten. It's not, it's not crazy. Um, <clears throat> ten, twenty-five. I try to yeah. get them in a. You have no idea, Phil. Magic. Magic. Um. You roll such a good Arcana check, this is Stitch. <laughs> Transformation. Yes. You roll such a good Arcana check that you have. This is beyond you. You don't even know if this is magic. You don't know what this is. This is. Um, this is weird manipulation shit. of reality. Can we move this? Can we move this up? Yeah. I hate the gods. A little bit, maybe. <laughs> I mean. It's okay. They're not fond of many people. Yeah. No, greed. Greed? greed. Oh, oh, that's shit. my car's name. Oh shit. Wait. <laughs> Wait. So, so you guys, uh, you guys also pick up on what I picked up on? What? I kind of think these are about us. You I don't think so. This one's definitely me. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna admit it. I came, I, I joined you guys for money. Like, <laughs> Okay, so... Are you sure? Like, you're kind of friends now. Like, yeah. like you're pretty cool, but, like, I did join for, you know... Well, then maybe um, yours well, is greed. Well, That's what I was thinking, uh, to be honest with you. You guys need to stop thinking about magic and start thinking about songcraft. Because if I were going to take this poem and I was going to complete it, 
Right. I would need to have rhyming words. Yeah. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Kurt on. slips the guitar out Beat of their bag. <laughs> there, there are words on the ground, Kurt. And begins to play and sing. Bleed and greed uh, rhyme, right? Yeah, that, that, here's the thing. We get to choose which one. We get to choose our story here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unshaken or forsaken. Oh, uh, I see. Fail or fail. Because deed and greed are kind of the same. Okay, yes, yes. So now we just need to find the, the rhyming couplets and, and choose one. One one word can change the entire timber of a song. Oh, but that's also weird though, because there's the, these ones is multiple. Like there's there's We're unshaken, playing. forsaken. Curtis playing music to this. He's transformation okay. Okay. and annihilation, all, right. all on that one. It's like you're you're trying to find the tune to it. You're trying to figure out what would work best, and like it's weird because the endings don't rhyme, so it's really unsatisfying. <laughs> <laughs> but you're playing you're playing it out. Well, so I agree with you, but also there 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 are four: there's forsaken, unshaken, so annihilation, yeah, let's, and transformation. Let's, let's at least assign them to, to theirs. I think mine um, is probably deeds or. Greed. Laszlo's card is the chariot. My card is the chariot, I guess. So, fail and prevail. Just <laughs> rhyme with trail, veil and tail. I, feel do like we I don't remember mine. Do we know, know, what, do, do, we remember, do we know what our cards are? Hmm. I think you'd mentioned we do. Hmm. Jealousy or destiny? Because that's been very much changed. Sure. Okay. Um, Jealousy or destiny? I'm judgment. Looks in a cycle of oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this last one: transformation, annihilation. Uh, Jacob, do you also want to send the uh, the the words that we have into the Discord? Sure. Play along at home. <laughs> yeah, because I um I have it in my notes as earned the death arcana, so he's aware that that's his. But the question card. is, do we do we choose, or is there, or pattern? or do we have to admit which we believe in? Like I'm gonna is be there, honest is there, with you. Is there a difference? Nah, maybe not. I mean, I, I'd like to say that I would pick deeds, but I don't think I would. At least you're being honest. Better than nothing. I mean, greed can encompass a lot of things, right? More than gold. Yes. But I got... Is Paul with us? Paul? Did, yeah, no, Paul stayed no, with... No, Paul stayed with, with the other... Yeah, that's yeah. right. I told Paul to defend him with stay his with life. Yeah. That's stay right. Lucius, Paul yeah. wouldn't have gone inside anyways. Yeah, and I, I told Paul to stay with Lucius. Paul that's can't right. get in. There's just a line about Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a random ass something, skeleton something, here. Something, 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 all. Something, yeah. something, something, all. Something, something, even fall. <laughs> something, <laughs> something, something, Paul. So I'm, I'm just gonna. Well, I'm just gonna. yeah, I guess, I guess, let's each of us pick whichever one we want to represent us. I guess. Want to represent? I don't consider myself a very jealous person. So you're picking this one? But would you well, Grotz is and Philip, though, succumbed. right? They're different people. But at the same time, you're yeah. succumbing to jealousy. Or destiny. Yeah. It's up to you, though. Next, Chariot. That's me. I don't know. Like Stitch said, I don't know if it's asking us to pick what's... what we want or what will be. Obviously, I want the best, <laughs> the best possible answer. Well, no, I, I think it's different. I think it wants us to pick what we believe about ourselves. If I had to pick between greed or deeds, sure. to be honest with you, I'm choosing the money. Sure. Huh. Well, then, then I stick with my guns. <laughs> what, what was the other word? Fail. Oh yeah, it'd be pretty bad if you <laughs> <Yeah>. you could have <laughs> fail, huh? <laughs> last, Judgment. Last, last, yet. Nah. Both of mine are not dire lines. Is that, that yours? Mm, it's a gr- grim either way. Judging creature, Ari. 
like as your memories would arrive. die, as your memories would lie. And it's, that one almost feels like it's not. Yeah. A, All right. What which, I think would happen. Which is. I don't know which is. Which is better to have everything you think is true be false and have believed it, or to not remember it at all. But well, which do you once believe you have is true? All your words assigned, re, um, and you, you have it finalized. Reread it with the, with, the, with the chosen words. Wh- which do you believe is true? Do you believe that you have false memories, or do you believe that you have forgotten ones? I don't think it's about forgotten ones. It's Sorry. losing them. Let's come back to me. I, I, okay. I, I don't know the choice right. yet. I agree. But uh, I mean, we've yeah. already yeah. kind of gone with it, as is Kurt. Death? It's, it's still, I think, death. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that's me. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be forsaken, but it's happened before. I guess I'd want to be remembered as somebody who is unshaken. That way I could help. <laughs> Help me cope. These magic letters, they're <laughs> stuck no, to the floor. They're super like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Don't these werewolf claws. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pick anything up. Back to uh, you, Judgment. Yeah, back to you. Okay. Alright, we have finished the poem. Right. So we read it. Read our own we should read. Yeah, I was gonna say that! Wait. Remembrance, I give to thee. The path is shut, you need the key. Page is blank, for I cannot see. Remembrance, and you are free. Justice blinded by his enemy, he clings to his soul so desperately. Another walks his path so easily. In the end, he succumbs to destiny. As you say this, you watch as the words, <coughs> like pushing into the page, become a part of the letters. Oh, and you watch, as the, oh. uh, you watch as the words jealousy sort of fade away. And they're gone. A chariot dashing down a trail. His path shrouded by the veil. Mystery does the end entail, mm. as is fate for him to prevail. The same thing that happens um, when Philip, uh, when when you read that portion of it, it cements into the words, and the other one fades away. Judgment keeps her awry, black smoke filling the sky, a knowing after she'd vivify, as her memories would lie. The same thing happens to you. Fortune is as all he'd need, so desperate he'd kill and bleed, all expectations he'd exceed, now he could revel in his greed. Same thing. Death is how he'd waken, all those he'd loved were taken, yet with all that, yet with all that determination, he's remembered as one who's unshaken. Same thing. Power cord enhanced <laughs> by minor illusion to sound like the crashing of waves. Whoa! Wands of many persuasions, an ace or sea raven. They who would be so brazen lives in a cycle of transformation. As you do this, you read the whole thing. The entire, um, uh, the words on this poem begin to glow. All the other words disappear. And you watch as um, at the bottom of this uh, uh, of this uh, of this scroll, you see uh, a symbol begin to appear, a circle, and it begins to move as well as you move the paper, and it has this feather on the bottom of it. It seems to like point in a direction as you begin to like move it around. Hmm. Made purely of ink, you watch as like the ink like bleeds over and like um, moves as as this thing like begins to move. Like you move left, and it sort of like moves right, sort of pointing you in a direction. Oh. Okay, tuning fork. Where is it pointing us, Lilia? There's only one way to, to mm-hmm. know. Maybe. Just follow it. I'm Maybe. just gonna. You begin to follow it, and as you, you make your way out of the hallway, you head to the end towards those mirrors, and it sort of like turns you to uh, the right. Mm-hmm. The raven 
deep go left, Lelia. It went away from danger. We have a tendency to go into danger. Mm, we've got no idea what's waiting for us. Let's not make any assumptions too quickly. Oh, I know. No. The raven would probably left this here for us as well. Mm. It has its own things to do. Mm. I'm assuming this is because this was in the same place where the raven was. Place so. to be, people to see. To the right, then. That's what I think. Let's go. All right. Are you following the thing or the raven? We're following the thing. Turns you to the right. And you see another hallway that goes down maybe another thirty feet. And you see that there is a spiral staircase at the end and a door to the left. You walk past the door, it doesn't lead you into this doorway, <coughs> and over towards the spiral staircase, which goes down. You guys descend down the staircase and eventually are led to um, a wing of the manor, um, not typically accessed by the front of it. This side of the manor is also covered in dust, looks similar to that of the front portion of the manor, um, with all of the uh, windows glowing, um, uh, sh uh, 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 shocking with lightning on the outside, the rain still pattering the windows, and it comes down to another hallway. This hallway only has one door at the end. This is incorrect. Do you remember this hallway? you remember where this is in the manor? There should be other doors that lead to other places. But instead, the picture I had sent to you uh, about Gabe, it looks exactly like that. It's just a small hallway. It has like pedestals that have what look like busts that go all the way down to the end of the door. There are also more paintings on this wall as well. Except as you look at the paintings, um, once again seem to be uh, much like the, the one in the, in the foyer. Um, uh, every time the lightning hits them, something changes within the painting. You recognize them. Lelia, you look up and you see the Blackbird Estate in flames. Lastly, you, you look up and you see what looks like the, uh, the, the, the Tevern. And you see um, Ashkari on the inside. When the lightning hits, it, she just disappears. Um, <coughs> for you as well, when um, it's the, it's the manor, but when the lightning hits it, it catches a flame. Mm -hmm. um, Philip, you see what looks oh, like I see uh, something. Huh? I see something. You see something. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look up and you see what looks like um, uh, you see Leonia, mm -hmm. um, and every time the lightning hits it, you can see it like crumbling and falling to the ground. Mm -hmm. um, Kurt, you see what looks like. Um, uh, you see yourself in one of them, just like a profile picture of you, uh, of yourself. Yeah, yeah, with a feel like that, yeah, with a, with a tag. Like some no, just a yeah. pro profile of yourself, um, um, just as you are now. And every time the lightning hits it, it transforms into LSR. Um, failing, you see uh, what looks like a um, uh, house, an old house that you recognize. Every time the lightning hits it, you see yourself out the front of it, just a boy. Stitch, you see what looks like uh, sort of similar to the door, like a dark pit that you recognize, just covered in webs. And every time the lightning hits it, you see yourself sort of trapped on the inside of it. You just cover the walls. There are other sort of other distant memories that you guys see, ones that you've had together even. Um, you guys see the, uh, you see the time when, when Stibbles was killed. You see uh, uh, the time when Kor had died. You see, um, uh, uh, the sort of hellish lands of, um, of uh, Asusa. Yep, Asusa, and you see the like enormous portal at the top. Um, you see uh, Elfrid Academy. This entire wall of like dozens of paintings are just about you. What uh, What do I see in all of those? Same. That would be. I didn't go to Basusa. Do I see and that? I didn't you still see it. Okay, okay so yeah. I see. I basically see like their history. Yeah, in a way. you really only see like one or two. You see the elder brain. Um, okay. Every time the lightning hits it, you see Kyria sort of falling. So anything that I that Stitch <laughs> wasn't <laughs> at, I don't see. Really? Okay. No, 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 no. You no, do see it. You see, see all each other. of them. You just don't Everybody recognize it. Everybody sees all of them. I just don't necessarily recognize. Yeah, you don't know what they are. are. Yeah. Okay. 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 You, so you think they're like a bunch of random paintings. <laughs> But occasionally you see yourself on one in space. Right? What are the busts? There you. Go. You see one Just last of uh, their their carved <laughs> stone of each of your heads. Expressionless, neutral, staring blankly off towards the wall. Is it just the six of us, or in front of each? Yes, there's just six. Okay. And in front of each bust, there looks to be some sort of uh, item lying on the ground. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I'll, I'll go yeah, over to mine. Look at those. You go over to your stoic <laughs> and you see what looks like a bloody sword. Oh, cool. Uh. Laszlo, you go over to yours and you see the mask of the keeper. I'll go to mine. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. I'll go to mine. Why not? Stitch, you go over to yours happen. and there's a small leather bag. It's the beans. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're my downfall. <laughs> it might not be. I don't know what it is. But I'll, I'll do you grab it. it. The, yeah. the scary thing is no beans. It's a, it's a bag of coins. You can oh. Kurt will go check out theirs. Kurt, you go over and see your detached eye. Oh. <laughs> what did I use a bag of coins Optic for? Optic nerve. Still attached. Yeah, it is. That's it's gruesome. Nuts. Phelan, do you oh. go to yours? Yeah. You see two flowers. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Okay. That's cool. All right, all right. Oh. Mm, fuck. Oof. Yeah, I'll take a. Oh, don't pick it up, Kurt. Oh. I'll pick it up. I wonder if I could see me seeing you, Philip. Oh. <laughs> of course you would do that. Do the coins look real? You open the bags? Yeah. Platinum. Holy fuck? crap. Tons of platinum. Who'd you steal that from? You put it in your bag. You just tie it to your side. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'll take up the mask. Okay. Yeah. Is it, it's sword? like Ashkari's mask, yeah. basically. <laughs> it's a perfect replica. If it's a replica at all. How does it, like, attach? Like, is it like a... It has a hood in the back that kind of goes over towards the back of like your head, like and normally skin. she has she uh, she has like a cloak that has like a hood that comes over the top. You'll <coughs> pick up the two flowers. Are they real? Oh, and just for people who don't know, it's a plague doctor's mask. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. actually it's actually uh, more uh, Percy. It's it has like a strap that you sort of yeah. put onto the front. That's what I thought. And okay. then you put it over. over. Yeah. What's up? He'll pick up the flowers. Are they are they also like real flowers? Yeah, they are. <clears throat> it's one's a magnolia and the other's a gladiolus. What a surprise! Wow. <laughs> I found thought? out that gladiolus is my birth flower. I can't oh. remember if you said or not. Is there a fireplace here? Yeah. No, this is just a hallway. No, no, I'm gonna look. It's just a hallway with art and busts along the wall, and there's just a single door at the back. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's also uh, windows along the side of this room with that have the lightning sort of like um, uh, appearing in. I don't think I need to let you guys know that this area is not accurate to what it was. Oh. oh. Well. Man, I thought your entire estate was in the yeah. shadow fell. I was. I, yeah, I don't think not, a lot of this is I'm accurate not. anymore. It has been up until this point. Um, to the to, 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 to an extent. The 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 busts are perfect replicas of us. There's like no they don't differing features. It's not like it, it's very clearly like a carved bust. But right. yeah, they're very accurate. Like there's nothing different. Nothing different there uh, to you now at this moment. Okay. And it's it's of y- this Laszlo that is is directly in front of each of you. Yes, yeah, Stitch has like his goggles on. You see. Uh, uh, Kurt, it's it's this new rendition of this 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 recent transformation of you is is this bust. Kurt's gonna go check out the door. At the end of the you go over to the door, and uh, it it looks to open. Are you going to? Is is the poem still aiming towards the door? Um, as you look down at it, it looks to uh, be blank towards the bottom. Oh, we oh, we're we're looking for. You open the door, and as you open it, you see an abyss. Darkness. Uh, Nothing beyond the door. Even for some of you, your magical dark vision does not pierce whatever this is. It is it's not an darkness. empty hallway into it, it is a door frame into nothing. It's not darkness. It is um nothing. Kurt Kurt's just gonna turn back to the group and say, What do you think this is the key? What kind of slot would fit an eyeball? I was just going to throw it in. Mm. Sure. Well, you should try it. Maybe. Um, I didn't have anything with mine. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that's not then great. You'll, mm. you'll probably be the key to something. Oh, well, maybe you will have to jump I in am. yourself. I've cast this aside once. 
Open sesame. You watch as it flies, <laughs> and as it passes the precipice, it's gone. Jacob was like, hmm, didn't account for that. <laughs> Try closing the door and opening it again. Same thing. I have a feeling you're supposed to walk in with it. Hmm. Uh, well, see y'all later then. Right next to your bust at the ground, your eye reappears. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Do you think? Do you think you could keep that in like your pocket until? <laughs> I don't know if I can accommodate you, Philip. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to step on it. <laughs> um, I can see where you'd be afraid of that. Kurt, yeah, you, you could have your eye on Philip. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I could uh, constantly have an eye on Philip. You put on your shoulder and it rolls up. And <laughs> <it's> <laughs> like hands on the ground. God. I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> well, mm. let's go see what happens. Uh, okay. I wanted to pick you, part As of soon as again. Kurt walks in and jumps in, you guys all, it's a moment, uh, uh, the, the world around you freezes. And you watch as you are all frozen in this moment. Oh, and uh, the world the slows gagging. down <laughs> as the, the walls begin to crack. And you watch as darkness is purely beyond them. Um, bits of debris and portions of the walls uh, uh, disappear off into the darkness as the room begins to swirl and turn as you each feel the sensation of falling. Your stomach drops as you are pushed downwards into darkness until nothing. Good job. <laughs> well, we're out of the hallway. We, we all just died. We all just got... There is no appeal. Yeah, there is no you know, appeal. It's the abyss. Maybe this should just should lead up to uh, into the abyss. Uh, uh, Strict Strict abyss. Abyss. Strict Strict abyss. Two more fours. I'll play Ronan. You Out all of the abyss. Skyrim. <coughs> open your eyes. <laughs> your and you see um, what looks like a, um, Bless you. It's a sunny day. Uh, you're standing on the middle of a road. Um, and uh, you watch as uh, you look around, you see one another. And as you look at one another, you notice that you're slightly translucent, sort of like how you had been before. Okay. Um, you guys have this kind of outline, sort of this deep, sort of silvery color. Um, uh, you're very clearly not corporeal in this in this place, in this wherever you're existing currently. As you look around, you see blue skies above you, a couple of clouds. Um, you see people running past, a couple of kids run by you as well. And as you're looking around, you recognize um, this, this upward slope, the castle in the distance. You're in Leonia. Walking down a um, a street in front of you, you see Philip um, standing next to uh, with uh, with this uh, guard armor over him, um, with uh, that visor that sort of covers his face currently up at the moment, and he's uh, walking and he seems to be in the middle of a conversation, smiling, um, uh, nudging over uh, another guard next to him, slightly smaller, um, with their helmet sort of down. And at the end of this conversation, he says, "Well, you know, it won't be that hard. I don't think, at least, this job." That's nothing. I just want to be around you. And he like kind of turns and he goes around up a um, up, uh, up the street, oh, and you guys just kind of see that. <laughs> Is that what I look like from the back? Yeah. Wow. Sometimes you have a, a cowlick. <laughs> As you uh, uh, look around, Philip, mm -hmm. uh, one thing I forgot to describe: the sword you're holding mm -hmm. is not incorporeal. Oh, the bloody Great. sword. The bloodied sword. Oh. I guess we'll follow me. Um, can we hear each other? Can yes. Kurt see who the uh, When you guarding? speak, it's like your mouths move, but there's like this delay and this intense reverb, mm -hmm. and it sort of just sounds like it's coming into your head. Um, you guys, are like, there's the real world around you, and you feel very distant um, uh, and, and uh, not here. This is a familiar sensation. Mm -hmm. What Kurt, Kurt? Kurt see who the other guard is? Uh, yeah, you you actually don't even walk. You float over, <laughs> ghost-like, as you uh, make your way over towards guard. Roll a perception or an insight check. No clipping through. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Fifteen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you sort of have to like it's just think a, where you want to go, and your body and your form just begins to lean forward and go go forward. What'd you get, Kurt? Natural one. Natural one. <laughs> you in your mind, you're like, 
We're learning that Philip had another flame. How very interesting. Let's see where this goes. How long? Philip, do you remember? Does he need this? A, you know. This uh, is very typical. You don't remember exactly what this is. Um. No. Can I do? Can I tell where I'm going? Uh, looks like you're making the rounds. Can I tell where I'm going? Uh, this no. is the upper city district, so you're sort of keeping, um, uh, it, specifically on this day, you're sort of keeping an eye out. You're much, you can tell you're younger. Yeah. This is like t 10, 12, 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Uh, uh, kind of hard to expect you to remember exactly what happened on a random day 10 how years ago. How often were you with somebody else? Uh, all the time. I was never by myself. I wasn't really allowed to be. Same people or different every time? Uh, two or three different people. Um... Oh. That's probably Kia. Are you sure? As you guys all are talking in this moment, everything around you is frozen. People oh. have n are no longer moving. Um, uh, the, the, like time is just frozen around you. Did they? Did they get? Can we still move? Yeah, you move, and then, or do you, do you move back over towards yourself? Yeah. As you move back over towards yourself, it it like resumes. Oh, got too far away. Give up with you. oh no, it's an escort mission. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even an escort no, mission. Get the wrong idea. It's not an escort mission. It's not like I'm I'm thirty feet away and now the thing won't load. Like that's not what this is. <laughs> it seems to understand when you're when you're choosing not to um, pay attention to pay it. Attention. <laughs> and so when you speak to them, it's like it's like passively in your mind it pauses. And then, in that moment, years. you look back, it it's sort of resumes. Scene. It's can a <laughs> cyberpunk brain it's, it, That's more like what it is. It's, it's, can it's like we dance. affect things around us? Like, can I try to pick something up? You go over and your hand goes through it. Okay. But the yeah. sword touch it with the sword? sword be? You touch it with the sword? Yeah, like uh, an apple on a cart. Poke it. Yeah, you stick it. Oh. Are you just... And then, like, the old lady on the cart looks over and she's like, what the fuck? She's like, what the This isn't good. Why? The sword's probably bloody for a reason. Yeah. Wow. This was Do you recognize you... the sword? <clears throat> I assume it's my sword. Yes. Yeah. Do you know why it's bloodied? Um. Well. We kind of know. I'm why assuming with Philip the with the eye it has to be connected to some, something in our past. So. Yeah. Killing people with it. <sighs> That's why I Come on. Was, you, know. yeah. you begin to follow yeah. as, as you begin to move along into the distance. You watch as um, there is this, uh, this like uh, commotion up ahead. You can't really see what it is. And you watch as Philip sort of puts the, uh, the helmet down and begins to run forward, mm -hmm. um, as does the individual on his side. Um, in this moment, you do recognize what this is for. You watch as Philip kind of moves out of your out of your guys' range of sight, but when you try to move closer, it's like you can't propel yourself to get closer to see what's happening. Can I? No. As you get closer and closer, you see this commotion of people begin to uh, uh, run and move around um, in, in a in a in a panic. Mm -hmm. The sun begins to set in the distance, uncharacteristically as if it went from a blue sky down to a sunset. Mm. You watch as um, Philip ascends out of what looks like um, uh, uh, a building from under the ground. And as he, um, as he comes up, he, he begins like looking around, no longer accompanied by the person that was next to him. And he turns and he just begins to like run um, up the street. He like kind of pushes people um, out of the way and just begins to move. At this point, you can follow him again. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you do, you watch as Philip is running and running and running, and then he stops, and he looks down at his side, and his sword is missing. Can I go over to him? Yep. Can I put it, like, in the sheath? You slide it into the sheet, in the sheath, sheath, and then he looks over and he grabs it, and he, he unsheathes it, uh -oh. and it no longer has blood. Oh. You then watch as the sky turns to night, and then you watch as rain begins to fall onto the ground. Um... And he watches Philip keep, begins to make his way um, up the road continuously. And at this point, it's the same thing like Lelia. Leonia is warped and strange. This is like a dream. Like, it, it vaguely resembles it, but it isn't actually it. You watch as he continues and he makes his way towards this, uh, this, um, this uh, sort of large house, one that you recognize. Mm -hmm. He enters on the inside. You can no longer go across the precipice. 
and you hear the sound of a gunshot. I just got shot. It oh. begins to grow darker and darker. Okay. Until you are left in the dark abyss once again. Yeesh. You hear a distant voice. Sounds like it's a whisper at the corner of each of your minds. Like somebody like breathing into like your ear to each yeah. of you. You just hear a Oh, very interesting. <coughs> what did you lose that day? I I got what I deserved. She lost everything. The world around you begins to shift once again. As you all look at one another and uh, uh, kind of slowly coming into focus, you see what looks like um, an intense battlefield underneath you. Uh -oh. There are troops running fighting, but they're not fighting other troops. They're running towards this enormous uh, 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 creature. It has a golden mask. Oh, shit. It has elements swirling over its body. And it's just destroying people left and right. And you see this tiny group of people just swarming around this thing as they try to destroy it. Laszlo, you recognize this. You watch as you see, you guys all see Laszlo around a bunch of people you don't recognize. Maybe you recognize Then Hala on the back of a dragon, but that's about it. <laughs> um, in the <laughs> moment, it's and not Eugene. like there's Eugene. Just, uh, yeah, well, you know what? We'll get there. No, <laughs> no it's actually, <laughs> not, no, you can't even. You, your your sight isn't um, limited in this space. You actually can see super far. You can like um, zoom in uh, while you're here. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, this is the first time you've ever been. Well, able I have to the. See I also have before. the thing on. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, no, actually, you guys don't see Eugene. Oh, good. Um, He's hiding. He's hiding somewhere. You see what looks like Laszlo. A fucking anime character in the center <laughs> of Ozymandias, just striking at him over and over and over again until his chest begins to crack, and he watches his body begins to disintegrate from the inside out as um, he uh, morphs into himself and turns into like this beam of brilliant light that begins to explode outwards and nearly blind all of you. As the world begins to shape around you again, you see this small room, this wooden room breaking the tea room the walls are crumbling there are only a few people in this room a bunch you don't recognize um, but one that you do you see yourself leaning towards Ashkari You've, you're, you have her in your hands and she's missing her eye she's missing her hand and she looks frightened as you stare at her, you remember this moment. I remember this moment. <laughs> the mask you have in your hand is not in cold um, I will. So, Laszlo is holding yeah. Ash Carter. Mm -hmm. I can see her face. Mm -hmm. um, I will go over mm -hmm. to them. You guys watch as Lazo sort of floats over. It's um, and I'll, uh, just stare at it for a moment. Um, before I, um, just extend a hand and caress her face. Mm -hmm. Your hand goes through. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, for a moment, you figured you could reach out and touch her, and there's no satisfaction. Um, I'll pull my 
my head back and I'll take the mask in both my hands and I'll look at it. And I'll just press it to my lips. Okay. And then I'll take the strap and I'll pull it back and I'll gently put the mask at the key barrage card. As you do so, you watch as the her form then transforms into that of the keeper. You watch as the entirety of that persona is immediately adopted over her body. And it all begins to fade to black. And that voice at the edge of your ear once again that says, I know everything about you. Not until she can rest by my side. Life is meaningless without her. The world around you begins to shift once again. You see what looks like a cave. This cave is lit by um, small torches. And you see what looks like coming in at the end of the cave, um, uh, a bit of light as you see a uh, um, number of goblins enter the cave carrying what look like um, spoils of treasure. So they march into the cave, there are wargs at their side. Um, they, uh, uh, blood and uh, uh, war paint splattering their bodies. You see in the corner of the cave huddled in between a few rocks, a familiar goblin. As the goblin uh, 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 war party sort of comes in, they dump all of their belongings onto the ground. They begin cheering together as they begin moving over and you watch yourself, it's memory that you have long of, of your past, as you peer over the side and slowly make your way over, younger at this point in time. As you do, the goblins turn and begin to ridicule you in goblin insults. Some of you don't understand even the language, but you can hear the ferocity behind it. You slowly inch your way back over to that corner again. As they all uh, commemorate around one another, drinking um, uh, and ensuring that you stay far away from what, the, what they've done. for a second. No fade to black? No. And you look down, the only thing corporeal on you is that bag of platinum. Kind of float my way over to myself? You float your way over to yourself. You watch as the bag of platinum drops on the ground and takes it. And he looks up. The like other goblins seem to notice. They begin to screech. And you watch as uh, uh, yourself takes the platinum and runs down the cavern as they all sort of run after you and the world then begins to fade to black. You hear that voice at the edge of your ear once again that says, was it worth it? Yeah, they were all assholes anyways. How much are you willing to sacrifice? I'd probably stop at my life. Maybe not more than that, though. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my goodness. Very angry boy. It's okay. The world begins to shift again. <laughs> and around changed. you, the world has changed. Oh, interesting. You see what looks like. Um, house, this large house in the middle of what looks like a field, field of blowing wind. Um, uh, so that doesn't make any sense. It's a field where the wind is blowing <laughs> the ground. You can see the wind. The, the wind is the wind. wind is fields of wind. It's the elemental plane of air. <laughs> you know, it's a field. Um, the air, um, the air, sort of blowing. the very tall grass. It's a pristine sort of day. You watch and you see what looks like uh, the front door uh, to this house slam open, fly off the hinges, and slide to the ground. 
as you see uh, uh, a, a boy, an older man. The older man has another boy on his back, sort of like a piggyback, and they run. They sprint barefoot. And coming out of the house, you see like this angry man sort of uh, come out, start yelling as he throw as he six dogs on these people. They just turn and begin to sprint and sprint. He watches the uh, the uh, uh, the older man with the boy on his back turns down and transforms into that of what looks like um, uh, uh, of like a wolf, and he begins to run. Bear. The other boy, a bear. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bear it's starts running, wolf. and then on the back <laughs> of the bear, <laughs> it's a bear. and then on the back of this bear, you see the other sort of young boy sort of j jump onto the back of the bear as they it's outrun like these boy. dogs and begin to make their way off. Just and Phelan, you recognize this memory. Again, it begins to shift once more as uh, colors <coughs> begin to meld into one another as it grows dark. And you see yourself again, sitting at the back of a cave. From what was the happiest memory of your life that you can remember to the worst, you see yourself standing over your father's body. And the flowers are, are real. I'm just gonna go over and just not even looking at himself. He's gonna put the flowers on his father's body. And strangely, you remember this. You don't know how, you don't know how this happened. But this memory comes back to you as you see your younger self look down and take the swords from your father's body. And the world begins to fade to black. You hear that voice at the edge of your ear once again as you sit in the darkness say, you're so alone. I'm so sorry. You just have to take it one step at a time. can't stop because if I do I'll I want to stop the world begins to shift again Alphonse is a very big fan of your storytelling oh, really? <laughs> he's like wow wow <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> good job dad <laughs> I never realized it totally sounds like when he meows, it says wow. Wow. I never realized that. Wow. He does go wow. Wow. Um, wow. Hi, buddy. You see what it looks like a vast ocean. You're floating just above uh, the top of the water as you see mountainous tidal waves begin to make their way closer in all directions, storm raging above you. And in the center, sort of appearing and manifesting between all of you, is a ship. An old, partially destroyed wooden ship. You don't recognize it. It's fairly small. Philip, pay, pay, pay close to, you missed this part. What? It was really okay. cool. Okay, sorry, where are we? <laughs> We're at my part. You see so a small ship, nobody on board, except for a half-elf, lying in the center of the ship, unconscious, as the ocean carries them forward with danger around them. You were on a boat by yourself? No, it wasn't quite like this. Oh, mine was weird too. It's mm. And the sea just begins to rock the ship forward and backward and batters it through the storm. But you see yourself, Kurt, this older version of yourself, unmoving. I guess Kurt will float over to this body. Okay. This is, like, older than I am now. 
this, uh, th <laughs> well. th sorry, younger, I meant to say younger. Right. Um, uh, uh, yes and no. <laughs> this, no and yes. No, this is, this was, um, <clears throat> your half-elf form. Okay. <laughs> Technically older. <laughs> yeah. Um, we don't talk about that. <laughs> uh, is there eye still there? It's missing. Kurt kind of looks around. Just says, This was sacrifice. It is not mine. You toss it into the ocean? Yes. You watch as that, well, the, it falls into uh, the, the ocean and begins to, and just disappears. And he watches lightning strikes the top of the ship. And he watches the tidal waves come in and consume everything around you before fading to darkness. You hear that voice at the edge of your ear once again say, Peculiar. I admire your transformations. If only others could understand why. And finally, the world begins to shift again. You see the Blackburn Estate, the dark night, sitting at the edge of Avenet. You watch as a large group of people march their way up the hill towards the manor group of 20 to 30 uh, common folk brandishing pitchforks and torches. They make their way up to the top. Do you wait and watch? I have a question. Because mm -hmm. Stitch would look around. Is there anything that's incorporeal mm -hmm. right now? Or that's corporeal right nope, now? Nope, nothing. You are all incorporeal at this moment. Mm -hmm. All of our you, visions had a, had a component to them, maybe. You see the front of the Blackburn Mansion, um, shrouded in darkness, then begin to become lit by the orange of the flame coming off of uh, uh, these, these people's torches as they grow closer. All of yours you found in the hallway. I did not have one. You might find it here. Or all I can do is watch. So you stay there and watch. You see this group of people step forward. You can't hear what they're saying, but they're yelling. You try to get closer, but you can only stay at this distance. You watch and you see the front door to the manor open, and you see your grandfather walk out. He holds up his hands. Mm -hmm. Then the world around you begins to shift. You're in a hallway, the same hallway you all were just in. You see the door to Lelia's room open as you see your father step in. And as he looks around, um, he yells in anger, but it's sort of and mumbled like he can't like he's underwater you can't hear what he's saying he turns sort of in like slow um, uh, this uh, you can't really like see where he's going as he turns down the hallway and runs as he holds a child in his hand young boy as he moves shifts again you guys are closer to the front of the manor once again and you see your grandfather as a dozen of these commoners descend upon him Spearing him through its body. 
and he watches one of them immediately throws the fish <coughs> torch into a window. As the flame begins to start another one. He watches they begin to throw different jugs of liquid onto the side of, of the building as it bursts into flame. And we transition once again. All of the doors in the manor suddenly locked. You watch and see as your father goes over and he locks the final one as he sits down with the rest of your family, but you are still missing. And we shift and you see yourself sitting under your bed, clutching that doll as the flames begin to spread around. It all fades to darkness. at the edge of your thoughts once again. And you recognize it. It says, I have long awaited to grant you what you once lost. In an instant, you all fall to the ground. And you are back in what looks like the, uh, the foyer of the manor once again. You see the windows, you see the two doors up at the top, and you see what looks like um, uh, 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 the, the lightning and the rain begin to flicker up against the wall. You're back where you were. Everyone all right? Yeah. As well as you can when you remember something that you never knew that you lost. Yeah. There's this strange amount of knowledge you now possess, Lelia. This ability, when you channel your power to the Raven Queen, you can sense that, um, like when you, when you cast your Snatch the Soul, you can feel that connection to that person from beyond. And you can grab it and bring it back very easily. Like learning how to uh, ride a bike in a cartwheel, it seems like you somehow now understand a way to push it away. Um. All of these people's souls have been revealed to you, have been born open, and between each of these people, you understand, you, you gain this ability in order to separate their bodies from their souls. Now what? Well, um, I check the door again. You the front door? Oh, we're oh we're at the front. No, no, no. You're in the foyer. <coughs> Oh, oh, we're back in the foyer. Back, yeah, 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 back yeah. into the entrance. Yeah, where the two staircases oh. go. Up, you're back at the entrance. Well, we yeah. could always go back there. Why? Maybe, maybe it has like the way through now. One hundred percent. There's another option. And that is. Yeah, have one. Well, we know that the only way to get to the fortress is not with our physical bodies, right? Right. Yes. So, yes. After all that, I think I can do it. You think so? I know so. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I know I can do the separation. I don't know what that exactly would entail. Huh. I know how to do it. I don't know what is the what consequence it means. of it. You hmm? saying you have to kill us? I don't know if it's quite kill, but if you count separating your soul from your body, yes. But I'm not going to go over and take a knife and stab you in the heart. Sure, it's sure. Different. Maybe it's possible we it's could the, return to our bodies. You know how I've sure. been able to pull you guys back to your bodies if yeah. when you guys are clo on the edge of death? Mm -hmm. This is the opposite. It's to kind of push you away. Interesting. <clears throat> 
Well, we came here to learn how to do that, yep. didn't we? All right, yeah. go ahead. Let's do it. Is that you volunteering? Yeah, though? sure. If this was all for you to Live get this life, why did we see memories too? What was the point? She she needs to know the she needs to know us, I guess. Yeah. Killed by association. Is that a good thing? I did I don't mean the Raven Queen, I mean Lelia herself. Oh. Yeah, I imagine the memories probably came from the Mine mine I don't think the Raven Queen uh, gave them to us. Mine was weird. It wasn't quite the yeah, no, that never happened. Um, what, I was kind of hoping you would see what really happened, because it wasn't I'm doozy. okay, I don't want to watch you claw your eye oh, out. Oh, no, no, that had already happened. Uh, Ted Clark did that. It was sort of more of like a ritual. We cast it into the sea, and then she showed up and was like, Oh, fucking stop it to me. And we are all like, mm -hmm. I did. And I, uh, I, I, you had to be there. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I was in jail. Um, Mine was also completely different from what I remember. That's not how it happened in my memory. But, I mean, the poem, I chose lie, could mean that the memory is wrong, could mean it's a fake memory, or my memory is wrong, I don't know. There's was a, I have this, coming back here after all that, this, maybe it was for myself to know you guys more, for her to know you guys more, both. <laughs> She made it could be for you guys to see something of yourself, a different version of yourself. Makes sense, because I don't remember that. I don't remember killing my father until now, but that, that happened. I don't want her to see that. I don't want her to know that. I didn't want to know that. Didn't somebody say that we would be, our souls would be challenged when we got here? Yes. So maybe this is cuts to the quick, lets us know something about our um, souls and the state there. The Raven Queen what, that is I both. Her? I don't know. The but Raven it happened. Queen is both the goddess of death, but also the keeper of memories. She would probably already knows or will know everything about us at some point. That's kind of her whole thing. I think her thing might be to have us look at ourselves, take a hard, long look at ourselves. Well, uh, should we get this over with then? Yeah. You know, not, not the hard look at ourselves part, but the, you know... Yep, our souls I'm ripped from our bodies. Super ready. Maybe it's a challenge. Maybe, maybe uh, the Raven Queen has shown you this as a way to say this is what your past is, but your future could be so much more. I don't know. That's the way I prefer to see it. I, I personally, I'm looking forward to giving this bitch the middle finger. Uh, the sooner we can get to that place in time. The better. Right. Kurt, you don't need to make Phelan's tragedy about yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry, kid. Thanks. It happened a while back, but I guess because I. Sorry. Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. Can you take it? Yeah, I have to. Okay, okay. Sorry. that's fine. We're actually going to cut there because I was going to go to break anyways. Ooh. A little bit of early break, but we're going to go to break uh, uh, for a few minutes uh, before we get into uh, more of the game here. But before we do that, I'm going to give a big shout out to our patrons who are supporting us over on Patreon.com. Um, so big shout out to all y'all who are uh, helping us by uh, 
giving us money that goes directly into the stream here. So thanks yeah. so much. I just bought us some new chairs. Yeah, we did Ooh. just get some new chairs. They're yeah. real nice. They're real nice. So I'm really excited tomorrow, to maybe. try those out. <laughs> so um, a big shout out to Chin Dub Mill Mini BM1. Barden enjoying the value of physical comedy as cast members slam their funny bones constantly into the table. Uh, digged in, Prince of Chaos, Pivot the Hood, Umbral Gypsy, Mama Love and Papa Joy, Will Pratt, possibly related to Chris Pratt, John Hunter, Mosamania, <laughs> Bert and the Brother Fuckers. <laughs> Rez Storm, Josh Travis, Jibrin Issa, Dormammu is very excited for the Quest to Con after getting the Twisted Tavern set. Hey, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, Duncan York, Roran Verlaine, Come Fortune and Jody Notorious Thieves, Amazingly Awesome, Rejected Tumful of Sea Men, The Diabetes, Thorin Schmidt, Every Character Should Own a Mastiff, and At Least 10 Clockwork Amulets, Forget the 10 Foot Pole, Jessica Colton Should Start Every Campaign with At Least 5 Backup Characters, and Marino, Aaron Fleischman, Abraham Guidel, Shurik and Sean Says, All Praise the Mini Bionicles, Alice Lilybottom, Loose First Javelin, Copperhide Wolf, Ethan Collins, Big Hoss. Hi! Gravity is the best defibrillator. Chris mm -hmm. Pratt, possibly related to Chris, oh, wait, Chris Pratt, possibly related to Will Pratt. Augusta oh. Ada, King oh, Countess of Lovelace, some rogue that doesn't have a sad backstory. As owner of 30 plus sauces from the hot one from hot ones, I recommend Butterfly Bakery Maple Wood Smoked Onion. It's the only one I bought. Uh, it's the only one I bought many times. That sounds amazing. Tom Michael, Micah God of Puns, Mystical Combat, Angriest Bird God, Dak Cop, Mimi H, Penguin Culture, Reptilian Daedra, Mirio Stahl, and Jake Pinkerton. Thanks guys so much. Yeah. We will see you in a few minutes. <laughs>
welcome back. Uh, thanks for sticking around. We're going to continue playing Stone and Dragons now, I guess. Um, what? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You remember that? We just had like a really strange introspective sequence there that had nothing to do with D&D. &D. It was just our characters. Oh, yeah. So, um, in any case, uh, come back into the game. You guys are in the manor. Um, sort of in the middle of that conversation we've been talking about, um, where Lily, you had just uncovered, um, uh, you just remembered. It's it's strangely like remembering. Um, you have this ability to where you can take specifically these people, all of those um, that, whose souls had been bear witness to you. Um, you can f you now know a way in order to separate them from their bodies. And you guys were talking about that. Sorry. <laughs> it is me, out of character. Pan. Mm -hmm. I'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm broken, guys. <laughs> you all yeah. yeah. It's okay. But yeah. You know, back here. God. Holy shit. Do you want to. Oh, you're next now? Someone want to get snatched first? I have already volunteered. We just like, it is it possible once? that if we shove your soul out, that Grotz would just take over your body? Maybe that's why I should go first. You could deal that's with. You could deal with them. I'm sorry. Big pause, real quick. Uh, I totally meant to uh, 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 shout out props at Moore who donated yeah. five dollars at the break. Um, hope everyone's having a great day. I have a semi-quick question for everyone. If I was to make a dice set for you, what color design would you want? That's a familiar question. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> I, think, I think we answer. I think you and I. You, are the three of us answer. Uh, you, you guys can answer in the chat if you want to. Do sure. You want to, but, for uh, us thanks or for, for like characters. For us. us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's, 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 it's it's ignore the logo, green, you know. Kind of <laughs> oh. Green, glittery, blue, purple. Mm -hmm. The colors cool, of the rage the cool Whoa. Ah, yes. Blue All right. Um, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I go to Philip and whatever I kind of have to do. So to Lilia walks Doctor over Strange punch me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just push. <laughs> You instinctively sort of go over to Philip and tell him to sit or lay down. I will sit. Where do you sit? Uh, he'll probably uh, assume like his meditation. Yeah. yeah. You sit down, Sneal. crossing your legs, <laughs> holding yeah. your um, yeah, holding your uh, hands kind of underneath you. And Lelia, you go over towards Philip, and as you put your hand on the top of like his head, um, Philip, you close your eyes. Mm -hmm. And there's this connection that you feel with him. It's this sheer empathy that sort of comes over for you for just a moment where you feel collided with Philip's literal soul. You see it and you feel it in its shape, whatever that manifests to you. And you all watch as Philip just goes limp as if he's asleep. Wow. And it's done. It's so weird, I've never seen him sleep before. <laughs> I have. Okay. Uh, Phelan's watching to see if Grotz, you know, is inexplicably going to yeah. pop out. Just like, surprise. Give, give, him, give him a little nudge with my foot. You nudge him? <laughs> yeah. He's dead. He dead. sort of like stays Go. still. Duh. And then he watches, he goes. <laughs> oh, shoot. And he watches his eyes, eyes open. I was like. I was just trying to be asleep. Come on. I'm oh, sorry, you can go back to sleep. Kay. Oh, okay. Are you guys gonna go? I'm fucking nervous. You're not gonna, like, kill our bodies, are you? Kill your bodies? Why would I do that, Phelan? It's okay, Phelan. We are protected by the, the great woman's ever hatred. Look, I just noticed that it was a little vacant over this here. This clown oh, doesn't happen can't anymore. touch us. Yeah, he won't be able to touch us, but he'll be able to kill our bodies. If we come back and there's no bodies to come back to. Kurt, you would love it at my plane in the abyss. Truly, That's you honestly, a very would astute belong observation. better there than among these people, seriously. Maybe. It's I could take possible. you there if you'd like. It wouldn't be too difficult. You could avoid everything that's going to happen up here and 
We can just make our way down there. But if I avoided everything that's going to happen up here, then I wouldn't be able to revel in the glory of anger and hatred. Oh and yes, oh, yes you could. Yes you could. We have we have all of that. Whatever you want, whatever your thing is, we've got it down there for you. you know, mm. Salt, mm. not hard. Mm. Spider webs. Jesus Christ. What if we knock him out too? You can certainly try. I do not want to fight him. You don't yeah. want to hurt Philip. Yeah, either. totally. Just kill my oh, body. Geez. No, not kill the body. <laughs> it's the only, it's the only way. Him out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a great story to explain to Philip. It's like, yeah, Laszlo went a little too ham, and now your arm is gone. Yeah, I, <laughs> no. Somebody got I a crit on I think you're all exit. very clearly aware that this is still Philip, except I'm in control. Um, I still exist somewhere else. My corporeal form is in the distance. This is just an extension of me. You kill this, you don't kill me. I'm here forever, baby. Just don't do anything too weird while we're done. Spencer. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I did like that. I don't know. I'll pretend to be asleep like I just was. Great. Whoop. <laughs> Lelia? No, we can't tell if his eyes are open. I know what that is happening. Pulls out the popcorn. All right. You over and the same thing happens to Kurt. You feel that uh, that connection with with uh, with their soul, and it's um, very staticky um, and rough around the edges, and it's sort of it's like. Ow. And then you, <laughs> you like, ah. it, it almost seems like, you, uh, I don't, like this stack of tris, yeah. like almost like it's like, it's yeah, like, yeah. It like tingly. As you pull away, a Kurt just sort of like, <laughs> falls <laughs> like All right, well, I mean, I don't really want to go last, so he lays down. <laughs> Same thing with Stitchy go over. Um, as, as you so as you feel sticky. that soul sort of collision, it's just um, Why is it it's sticky? something that's very unfamiliar to you. Um, for some reason, it smells kind of weird. But <laughs> <laughs> he is asleep now, <laughs> and then he goes. It I'm very curious to see if I actually have a soul, considering the unique nature of my existence. <laughs> Well, each one is going to be completely different each time, so. If I don't make it to the other side, it's been an honor. Um, thanks. Find Laszlo. And thanks. I know you're. Absolutely. You don't think you're the Laszlo, but you at least share his empathy, so that means a lot to me. I would say that you are a part of him. I think you would. This way. Well, you're a good man, Fanny. Don't remember that. You're more than your deeds. Don't remember that? I said remember that. Did I not say don't remember that? I wasn't paying attention. Don't. I was just thinking about. Personally, I thought it was pretty good advice. Hey, sleeping, remember? Good. Sleep talks. Long two. Long okay. Two. That's she actually I'll, uh, saying I'll long just two. kind of prop myself up against the wall, maybe like underneath my bust. Okay. And be like, Lelia, I hope you find what you're looking for on the other side. And I hope I can help you find it. I hope you help him. And I hope you can see me on the other side. <laughs> you go over towards uh, Phelan, <laughs> uh, uh, towards uh, Laszlo. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait what? <laughs> <laughs> you go over towards uh, his face. Uh, you don't feel anything, but you're like, yeah, it's probably fine. You know, <laughs> don't find anything. She's just kind of going like. <laughs> sleep. And it's you mantis. are not asleep. Sleep. Yeah, okay. Oh. That makes sense. Well, so this is interesting. I guess I don't have a soul, huh? Or at least your soul <laughs> isn't here. I mean, Hongshu. There you go, baby. So well, God. looks like this next step is something that you all have to take without me. <clears throat> but you can hang out with me. We can hang out here together. Maybe it's for better. You know what? That. I'll do my best. <laughs> really? Oh, oh Joe. Your best? I'm so Just for you. You know cards? 
you know, goblin, goblin, goblin what's the monsters. thing? Goblin monsters. monsters. Oh, we can learn how to play. It'll be great. <laughs> you like card games, don't you? You're the demon of all vices and things, aren't you? Oh, you want to gamble? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, before I agree to doing that, <laughs> let's have some turn. I mean, what are you, what are you going to leave? Your eternal soul? You That's true. I don't have one, so I, I don't really have anything worth anything to you. Um, we can just play for fun. Fun, right? <laughs> Good luck. Well, find your wife then. Uh, he's gonna take find off me. And you too. Take off his swords. I'll be and I'll take good if I don't make it back, they need friends. So keep them. Sure. They're nice. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. You'll come back. I know you will. Get him in the face. Hold on. Do you have imaginary friends in your sword? You're like the imaginary friend in Philip's head. Except I'm real. So are they. Um. No. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Failing swords. I'm gonna tap Grotz on the head and cast <laughs> protection from evil and good. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, where are I? And then Philip. <laughs> good boy. I'm probably gonna pay for that. Yes. But you get some quiet, and I get about that. 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll run out of spell slots eventually, so don't be long. <laughs> Just hide him somewhere in the room. Oh, that'd be fun! <laughs> 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 I never had to do that. I'm picking up Philip's back. limp body. Holy fuck, he's heavy! I'll make sure your bodies are uh, are protected. Anyways, um, go. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Playing hide and seek with a th- <laughs> 300 pounds of weight. <laughs> and then as soon as he finds me, boom! <laughs> <laughs> another one! This is going to be so much fun! Alright, brilliant idea. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's going to sit down and just like, alright, <laughs> have at it. Have. You go over towards Phelan and put your hand on his face and uh, just in. S- that's what I do with everybody. Uh, yeah. uh, you um, feel this sheer amount of warmth sort of come over your body as he falls asleep. And as he does, the world around you begins to fade. You watch as you see all of your friends begin to dissipate, and you watch as the mansion around you falls away. And you two are left back in what looked like that memory you guys were in. They're translucent, ghostly and in the middle of the darkness, but the two, you both can see each other, Laszlo and Lelia. What? Sorry, uh, it looked really funny because your little <laughs> eyes were just coming off of Jack's, <laughs> Jack's uh, arm, and I was like, yes. Well, <laughs> sent me a message after, I think, last week's game. He's like, I love looking at the screen with you, Tyler and Spencer, because it looks like you guys are like a, a human, a half, or like a dwarf and a half, because like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. you're so huge. And I was like, yeah, I'm a big boy. Just it grows. It's very dark. Until of, eventually, the two of you see what looks like a flickering light in the distance. A deep blue light. Way, way, way off in the distance. <laughs> What's that? When you speak, your voice sort of echoes in the darkness. You get closer. Uh, are we like in complete darkness yes. right now? I'll pull out my sword and I'll try and light it up. Uh, you go over and pull out your sword, and as you light it up, the light just 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 goes into nothingness. Okay. I can't see the darkness either. So this is not just darkness. Shall we check it out together? You might be coming with us. Only one way to find out. You get closer and closer, and as you do, you watch as the deep blue light begins to shift, and it's sort of like um, it, it, it goes from like one until you watch as it uh, uh, begins to turn into like an eight symbol, and then they're sort of connected, and then it transforms into two. 
and you guys get closer and closer as they separate. And as you uh, come uh, uh, all the way up to it, it's very, very close now. It's this small flame. Just blue. Just this blue <coughs> flame, just a small circle, just directly in front of you. And it illuminates beyond it what looks like a door. A gig- uh, 10 foot tall black door. It has a black iron handle and it looks like it's made of uh, smoothed black planks. And you watch as the blue lights move beyond the door. Just like through it. After you? You grab it. And as you pull it open, you uh, the uh, you sort of like are pushed into it and it becomes the entirety of your reality as you are floating in front of all of your friends in this enormous uh, uh, shadow fell wasteland. You see um, uh, uh, distant uh, shadow fell forests, the abyss of the sky above you, and directly in front of you, atop this enormous mountainous spire, is this huge walled fortress. You see multiple entrances um, around it. All of you guys see this as well. You see um, uh, uh, ravens, millions of ravens, like uh, swarms of them moving in and out at the same time. You see um, a distant shadow archive flying atop dragons in the distance as they sort of move around and descend into the enormous fortress. All of it strangely busy while also quiet. A score of about um, uh, uh, 50 to 60 undead begin to make their way out of the fortress and head off into the distance, sort of um, into the forest. A mixture of zombies, skeletons, ghosts, and wraiths. And at the apex of all of it, at the top, there are towers after towers after towers, seemingly endless, as you try to make out the detail in all of them. Tiny blue and orange lights sort of spilling out of every single one. You've only, uh, uh, you have no idea what could be beyond um, uh, uh, those windows and doors, what could live in such a place like this, as the pure onyx black d- um, uh, comes to the top um, as this enormous tower with this looming um, uh, uh, centralized point of darkness with two raven wings coiling around the top. It's sort of this form that you can't seem to put to a shape, but the only thing you do recognize are the feathers and the wings. It's so, so tall. The two of you see your friends around you um, uh, in, their, in their bodies. You guys, you guys stand up, look around, you're just in the dirt. Um, in your bodies, you have your swords failing. You have all of your things with you. Um, so you do as well, your hands, and you look up and you see appearing before you are Lelia and Laszlo, but they're spectral floating ghosts. You know what I just realized? You're the soul. We're already dead. Yeah. We didn't need to cleave the souls from our bodies to okay. enter. Mm-hmm. It'd be interesting to see how this plays out. That's why I think that's why our entrance was different. Yeah. Philip, for the first time, you do not feel the pull of Grotz. Mm. Wow. Your head is empty. There are no whispers. There are no thoughts. <laughs> 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 head empty, no thoughts. 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 Head empty, no
Mm-hmm. It's weird. He's floating. He like doesn't have the bottom of his feet. He's just like this silvery outline, and, for, and he's like it's like whisking towards the bottom, same as Lelia. Um, and uh, when he speaks, it's like this like <laughs> like echoes outwards. It's good to see you all again. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so afraid? <laughs> Me not afraid. That's very good news. Great joy in the show for all the people. Whoa! <laughs> it's all nations. We go in. So we've got to find I mean, our way in first. Kind of what we came here for, right? Mm-hmm. How are you guys all feeling? Pretty good, actually. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think yeah. that since the souls have been cleaved from their bodies, that the Raven Queen and her forces will permit them entry? They might for us, since we're already well. Since you and I are kind of a special case. I wonder if you more question about whether. I'm just kind of starting to make my way over towards the fortress entrance. (laughs) (laughs) It looks like Stitch is already going to Stitch. All right. It's like in Return of the Jedi, where it's like the Ewok is going. It's like, oh no. no. (laughs) You guys get closer and closer towards uh, this enormous entrance into the, the, the Fortress of Memories, as it would be. As you get closer, you can see what look like a number. As you begin walking, you notice that you're not walking on dirt. You're walking on dust and ash. Because as you get closer, (coughs) the ground becomes more and more um, formed into objects. You see millions of objects are what create the ground around the Fortress of Memories. You see random trinkets, boxes, mm-hmm. necklaces, mm. picture frames, pieces of art, um, uh, weapons, armor, any kind of memorabilia that would come from an entirety of a person is the ground at which the Fortress of Memories is built upon as you get closer. And as you walk, sort of like clunk, clunk, and it's like, it, you don't like sink into it, but um, you walk on top of it, and you look off in the distance. Uh, the further away you get from it, they sort of like disintegrate and turn into like dust as they get further and further away. Strange question. Yep. Do we see any other wisps like us yep. around? Mm-hmm. You see like um, you see like uh, three begin to uh, an exit, maybe like 100, 200 feet away. They begin to make, uh, leave the fortress and head off into the distant shadow film. But they're in their bodies. They are not Yeah, they're all in their bodies. Mm. You do see a few individuals who, who do have bodies. Oh. You see mm-hmm. what look like in the distant fortress, you see a couple of elves. Okay, so I'm sure. Oh, well, that might be different. Uh, one more before we get in there, as like we're walking. Uh, what, what exactly are we, are we look, looking to, to get here? Are we the, keeper? the keeper. Okay. The main Your was... body. So we're going to steal the, the Keeper or and Laszlo. I don't know about s- steal, but certainly try and find a way to get them. Grand Theft body. Yeah, all right, okay. Grand, Grand Theft soul. Botto. <laughs> <laughs> so Keeper, then Laszlo. Grand Theft undying soul. There's a few Kyria. Oh, uh, yeah. We might be able to find That's right. more than just, yeah. Core would be here. Stibbles. Mm. I can't leave Stibbles. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Stibbles probably wouldn't want to leave. Yeah. He'd be like, nah, it's chill. I'm here with my wife. He might not even be here anymore. He's just over He's, He's already tree. gone. <laughs> He's moved on. Yes. To greener pastures. If we find any more of your friends, we can try to free them. They're not all going to be in the same place, I assume. No. We, I don't think will exactly be allowed to just search the place high and low willy nilly. No. Without being no. nor taken out. That'll be the tricky part. Our window is pretty small. I'm sure the Raven Queen won't take kindly to folks taking souls that are rightfully hers. Wow. The two Shatter kind of just like walk past you as they like kinda of look at you and like continue on. <laughs> Moving on. Maybe we it's should uh, maybe we should uh, act like I point to some skeletons that are just shambling about. Mm-hmm. Just kind of walk on in. Yeah. Acting as if, you know, we belong here. Because we kind of do, you know. We're dead. What do you think, Clint? I mean, I don't think either of us need to do that. Yeah. Well, we're probably fine. 
Can I? As fine as we can be. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure charisma is my worst stat. <laughs> Uh, can I make a performance roll to try to act like the zombies and skeletons? And <laughs> you're gonna you want to act like an undead? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Well, make it seem like I belong here. Go ahead and roll a d4 with that. <laughs> <laughs> Guidance. Here you go. I, I have, I have so it's very strange when you go over and you cast your guidance spell. It seems to work, um, just just as it would uh, just as it would as if it was in your in your body. Nineteen, nineteen. Um, I rolled an eighteen on the die. Dude, both of these die have been killing it for me. I really uh, rolled twice, but you know. You uh, you know, nineteen. Stitch is like doing a perfect undead impression as he starts walking up towards the door. Uh, that, it's not a door; it's an opening in like the wall. Um, the wall, by the way, is about a thirty-foot tall circular wall that goes towards the back, um, that like curves around, and it ends at like a cliffside. Because the Fortress of Memory is sort of, um, as you get a look at the train, is on this like um, jagged, raised like cliff that goes to like a point, and then it's like built on top of that. Um, and the wall sort of like goes around it, and then it descends into darkness. You don't even know what's down there. As you do, you guys all walk up. Yeah. yeah. All right. As you walk up, and a, a small group of undead sort of go past you, you can see that it's sort of like a, a strange sort of like it's it's large, and then it's like a checkpoint. And as you get closer, you can see this tall uh, pillar, uh, maybe about fifteen feet tall, in which Shatterkai stands and um, uh, uh, looks down, um, and then uh, uh, seems to uh, 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 allow certain beings to enter. So there's like a blue sort of like field of force that like opens and then like a couple of Shadar Kai head in and then it like, it like goes back down. And as you all get closer, uh, he looks down at you and as he looks down at you, he goes, <laughs> How ironic. You look up and see Tetheros at the top of this tower. And he says, oh God. I've been punished with gatekeeping. <laughs> How ironic you'd come up to the front steps of the Fortress of Memories and I would be witness. Yeah, we actually chose this. Now be a good dog and open that gate. Who are you? Fuck you. Okay. Turn around and go the way you came. Mm, no, that's no. Can I? Uh, can I just try to walk in? I don't just really. Like, I start walking in. <laughs> you just like hear your head. It's like the uh, the force field, um, and he, and you just hear him going. Uh uh-uh. uh And with the rest of your friends. That's like I'm like I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what? So- just on your own bias, you can deny someone entrance? Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of, you know, her taking in anybody? I... He's like ignoring you. I think she is expecting us. How high up is that tower? Oh, wait, wait, wait. And he looks down and he says, who's expecting you? Her. <laughs> it's like, it's like the Raven Queen is like a, like a, like a mayor. Like you just go s- talk to her. Uh, wow, this is so funny. This is why like you that. are on gate duty. I'm on gate duty because of you. No, Could you're you on ask gate duty her? because you're a prat. Uh, Anyone's a, 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 what? Wait, what'd you call me? Possibly related to Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> could you could you just ask? You're her? a prat. You killed me. Mm-hmm. You stopped my life's work. I did. Yep. It was so valuable. You got sent here on gate duty. Well, congratulations. This is your reward. I don't think we're gonna. How does it feel to come all this way for nothing? How tall is the tower? Like twenty feet. Twenty feet. No, it's fifteen feet. It's even. I'm gonna misty step up there. <laughs> yeah, can I vortex warp up there? I didn't realize we were so close. You can't vortex warp yourself. Um, that's not how the spell works. Uh, I literally you can. You're talking about the spells. 
Well, you can't. You can't. It specifies it somebody else. Does it really? Yes, yeah. it does. As you uh, cast Misty Step, you uh, go upwards, <laughs> and you're like on the edge of the tower. Like, so it has like this little like uh, uh, area on the top um, that you can like stand on, um, and you stand on top of it, and he looks up at you, and he's like, and he goes. Ooh. Can I put Philip up there? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Philip's up there too. And he, and he goes. I. Uh, my oh gesture no. was for you okay. to bring it down here. I, I surrender. I. Oh, you're surrender. right. That's waste. That's waste. Please. Please. Lever. <laughs> there isn't a lever. He's just standing at the top. Um, uh, it's just this empty sort of like tower, and then towards the back there looks to be what looks like like a like a ladder that like goes down like behind him, and he's like, I'll let you in. Wow. Okay, you can walk in now. Can we? I try to walk in. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> yeah, he's lying. <laughs> I kind of figured. But it's, a, so, it's a small... Uh, Philip, just, like, hit him? I don't want to hit him. Uh, what do you want? Kurt's going to thunder wave him off the top oh. of this thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm up here, too. <laughs> uh, what do you... Uh. <laughs> the thunder wave uh, goes off. Um, Philip... Is it con? Strength saving throw? Con. It's constitution. It is con. Constitution. Uh, 14. Fourteen. Um, what's your spell save? Is it 15? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Five um, yep. So, uh, you go ahead and roll damage. As you do this, the uh, the force field in front of you, uh, it's no more than like like you're standing on the edge of like a, here, let me draw this out for you. Can you, better idea. Can you move the camera over here so I can just kind of, I, I want to be able to convey this information correctly. Oh. Well, let me, let me get out of your because I'd like to go to the bathroom so you can use my, okay. my, my, my vacancy to better have command of the field. There we go. So it's like this, Kurt. Um, it's like this, like a tower, like this, and he's like standing right here, and uh, you were able to like stand right there, mm -hmm. but uh, the the force field seems to kind of like go like this, and he's sort of like right here. Oh. Um, so you're able to stand on that little edge, I didn't but you see that. the the force field sort of like like appear oh, right in front of you. Okay. Um, Where do I go? Oh, yeah, I, guess, I mean, I guess that changes. I thought I was literally in the tower with. Oh no no no! You're not. No, no, no. Yeah, he's, I, he's thought, still that, I thought I was putting away. Philip literally in the tower. Where, yeah, with him. where did he put me? Right there. You're, okay. Uh, you're, so it's like a it's like an octagonal tower yeah, that I goes up 15 feet. It was only that it's much only space. about five feet big, and the and the barrier goes from that outside area, um, uh, uh, just like a like a foot. So you guys are able to stand kind of like above him and look down at him as he's sort of looking up at you. Yeah, I didn't um, realize there was only that much space. Okay. I would have done what you had suggested. You ask him, what, what do you want? Yeah. That's what you said, yeah. right? He says. I want to be put back in the material plane. Yeah, sure. How do we do that? I don't know. I can't leave. Well, we're going in there to get a bunch of people. How'd you get here? Point down to Lilia. She uh, pushed my soul out of my body and I came here. Really? Yep. Can I attempt to go through the shield? <coughs> you hit it. So, um, and he, and he kind of looks down towards you, and he says, you're a, you're a binder? I suppose so. I know you were connected to the Raven Queen. Mm -hmm. I just want to do what I um, was meant to do. Gate, gate duty? No, no I didn't. Kurt. Well, I mean, he's. Were you meant to we're trying to become friends with him, not antagonize him. Oh, that well, the friend is never gonna happen. Acquaintances, temporary allies. Unleash what was supposed to be unleashed onto um, a region. That place has long been tainted by the Shadowfell. It's ours. Should have been ours. If I were to give it to the Raven Queen, she'd be very, very grateful. Obviously, she wasn't. I only failed. She doesn't yes. care. Nobody's been able to... Nobody's been able to um, communicate with her. 
gather her gaze. Anything. She sits up there endlessly. Right. Nobody until Lelia. And you're um, right now blocking her way. Can you separate my soul from my body? Allow me to manifest on the material plane again. You do that, I'll let you through. I don't even know who this guy is. The decision is yours, Lilia. You need to get inside. If that's through him or through some other means. It doesn't make a difference to me. Your friend is here. I want to kill him. The Raven Queen keeps her. Occasionally manifests over her soul. There are many that she keeps. Lots pass on. But there are a few. It's a lot, but there are a few that she obsesses over. He's a hack. We killed him the first time. We'll find him again. We'll send him back to gate duty. Enjoy it. While you got it. Who are you? This is Kurt. We're Kurt and the motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know some. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Do you remember um, that time that you died? Yeah. And the person who, who did you in? last little bit. Yeah. That was you. That was somebody else. Oh, it was me. I have been reforged. <laughs> me. Twice. Like driftwood shaped by the crashing waves. Hmm. And has a tendency to remake themselves. It's not the first time. Uh, it's happened like, I've been with them for like a month, it's happened like three times. <laughs> I so, can try, uh, but I cannot give you any promises. Alright. He watches he goes back, he comes down the ladder, and he walks over. There's a couple of shatter kai behind him. They're like, Tetheros, what are you doing? And he says, uh, guard duty, gatekeeping stuff. You should go on with your business. Well, we need to leave, so you kill these guys yet? Or just get, hang on. Walks over, and he says, and he just goes like that to you. Lower the shield first. It's kind of a person by person thing. Right, but if you get sent back, then who lets us in? Not me. That's a problem. I guess someone will have to take his place if he's gone. Yeah, and then we have to convince them. I don't think we'll have to do much. Rose, what's going on? Just hang on. Like, he's trying to escape back into the mortal realm. Are you sure that's like the right thing? He's kind of calling out to the, sh the other shatter card. You say that, and he sort of looks over towards the other ones, and they look at him, and he just says, they're doing whatever they can in order to get in. And they sort of, sort of nod. Oh. Oh, word against his. Hey, uh, Shadow Kai, you, you guys know why this asshole's on gate duty? <laughs> The one of them ignores you, the other one sort of looks up at you in sort of like a curious glance, but doesn't respond. Do you want me to tell you why he's on gate duty? I know why he's on gate duty. Oh, oh, why is he on gate duty? Ah, uh, what'd you hear? Trying to trick me, trying to give me well, tell I mean, you information. What, what did you hear? 
It's not gonna work. Because I'll tell you about the team of fuck-offs that invaded his castle island and murdered him in his own castle. All right, let's go use another entrance. And the other shadow can just sort of <laughs> walk and leave. And Tether sort of walks. He says, what are you doing? We had a deal. Let's go. You walk in, and you're able able to step in, well, float in, as your ghostly form. Um, And he says, okay. I'll um, cease all of my responsibilities uh, as soon as you uh, do the thing. Send me back. Am I able to? You walk over towards him, you put your hand on his face, and you watch as a porcelain mask forges over his, and you watch as his body just dissipates and disappears. Interesting. Can we kind of go through now that he's yep. gone? Yep, and you are able to walk in. Mm. That's going to be a problem for another day. Classic, we're just going to get news. <laughs> he's in jail. Exactly. <laughs> he's going to get news somehow. He's still, still a prince. <laughs> <laughs> it's been three months. He's on house he's arrest. Time out. <laughs> he's on house arrest. As you guys are yeah, 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 in house arrest. You see those two Shatterkai that were walking away? They like turn around, and one was like, "Huh." They just kind of turn like walking away. <laughs> like, That's like, they really are, weird. We, we actually told <laughs> they, like, the truth. They like continue on. Right. And then, what? and then he turns and he walks back and he's like, "Are you supposed to be in here?" Yes. Yeah. Sure. Stitch, can you get me down? Gestures vaguely. Uh, uh, yeah, take the ladder. It's the lower half of my body. Oh, it's a whole spell slot. He walks over. I'll his go down the ladder. Cry, with deep gray skin, uh, white hair, kind of short, um, and he's wearing what looks like this like glimmering armor um, with uh, uh, black sort of leather underneath it and like raven feathers kind of going down the sides of his shoulders. And he says, what are you here for? Party business. <laughs> <coughs> Lucy, Lucy sent us in here. Lucy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Turns around and walks away. I wouldn't have thought of that. I climbed down the ladder. You climbed down the ladder. We're all on the other side now, yeah? Yep. yep. Okay. Let's <coughs> proceed, I suppose. Yeah. Let's start looking around. Before we're running any old friends. So, you guys have this enormous fortress before you. There are dozens and dozens of entrances, lots of possible places that you could go, scores of ravens flying ahead. It's very overwhelming, to at least to you, on where you could go first. Do I still see those kind of that? Yeah, just, uh, just um, walking around and just heading away. But before you guys go, can I ask just a question of like important landmarks? Yeah, this is our... To be honest, I have nothing to do right now. So he walks over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just depends on where, where you're going, what your purpose is, why you're here. As I said, Lucy sent us in here. I believe that the Queen expects us. That's, all right, that's not possible. That's not something that happens here. We're not in your usual cases. You are. There's a lot of people like you who come in here all the time, often looking for souls of their lost dead friends, other people looking for um, possessions that they may have had, some ghosts like yourselves who come from other ends of either the material plane or other existing other celestial planes to come down and look for things that were lost to themselves. How many of them have spoken to the Queen? No one. No one has ever, ever spoken to the Raven Queen. I've had at least one person. There is the manifestation of her will that does speak to you in a way, but it mimics everything you've ever known. Did she speak to you in a form of some kind? She took on many forms. She was rich. Yes, she does. She isn't really holy herself anymore. The Raven Queen was once a very powerful elven queen who tried to take all of us and branch all of our elves, the, uh, our planes together. Mm-hmm. It failed. And her mind was shattered, but her being lived on as that. And he kind of points up towards that amalgamation of like feathers. Mm-hmm. It says, she's no longer a conscience. She's an obsessive 
mystical being. I don't know what her will is. I don't know what, what she does, but we attempt to listen to her in any way that we can. And sometimes those echoes, that voice comes through as mimicry of what I've known. Well, those echoes will lead, uh, or this seeming echoes have led us here. Right. What are you doing here? All right, I'll shoot. I'm looking for my wife, Ashkari Maladin. If you're looking for a soul, you're going to have to make your way through the aptly named Hall of Souls. Hmm. Point me in the right direction? You should be warned. It's not safe down there. Now, we shed our kai, we try to protect this place. We try to um, keep it, try to upkeep it the best we can, but it's impossible. Thousands and thousands upon people die every day. And it's difficult to keep all of that organized. The Hall of Souls are protected, but lots of creatures have made their way down there. They find souls that they've lost before, obsess over them, and then stay down there, transforming <coughs> into monsters. Right. If you're going to get lost down there, just remember that there isn't some easy solution in order to get those souls back to the material. You may lose yourself. Be careful. And what exactly happens if we lose ourselves? You're stuck here forever. Okay. You won't recognize yourself. Your soul will go to the Raven Queen and then she'll pass it on to wherever she thinks is best. Sometimes she keeps them here. And if my body dies a second death here? Oh, this isn't your body. This is a remembrance of yourself. Hmm. This is an extension of you. This is a manifestation of your soul. So then if this dies? You cannot return back. Oh, okay. Where does she keep those that she obsesses, obsesses over? over? In the same place. I see. That is Sounds like our destination for everything then is Point the hall. Us in the right direction, friend. Souls are often kept in um, objects. The Raven Queen requires us to bring her objects as they store the soul. They keep the remembrance of what was once theirs. This remembrance manifests uh, typically as something that was important to the person in their life. If the two of you are looking for your souls, look for something that maybe belonged to you. Will do. Right. So, question, we're different from them. We're spirits. Our souls are in there? Our souls are here. Is that why we've manifested as such instead yes. of as them? Your what, is, so what does that necessarily mean? They're just separated from you. They're still with them. Their souls remain here. Mm. I could, if I was told to, could take this guy here. What's your name? Stitch. Stitch. Well, something that's important to you, Stitch. I pull up my bag of money. How original. Uh, you can take, wow. take him to the hoard, and one of those bajillions of gold pieces will be one of him. I could put him there now if I wanted to. Because really this is his soul. This is who he is. I'm not going to. You're not dead. Not yet. I know. <laughs> well, that explains a bit. Appreciate it. Of course. So it's... Where is it? This whole souls? Oh, um, I'll lead you the way. And he sort of begins to walk like forward. Three towers north, yeah. then yeah. two to the east, then go it's north, on, two it's more. On 1128. Take the left path. Tower west, Street. Tomorrow, west pizza. Doom Death Street. <laughs> <laughs> west Tower. Yeah, yeah. If you think you're going west. in circles, no return that's okay. Way. It's not just <laughs> the end geometry. You just yeah. accept it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you once guys. You're there. You're there. Yeah, you guys. Uh, you just know. He heads up. He walks over to one of the towers. He opens um, this uh, large door, and uh, you guys make your into the, uh, your, your way into these hallways. What's up? The question. Mm -hmm. He, when when was that a Jacob slip or was he actually going to call me Stitch and then ask for my name? That was me, Jacob. Okay. okay. He didn't know your name. I was just checking. I was wondering <laughs> if he already knew who we all were or. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> dun. He makes his, as he makes his way over, you guys follow him into what looks like this long um, hallway, and it's just obsidian black all over. The walls are obsidian black, uh, the ceiling and the floor are just pure black like tiles, and they sort of like reflect a little bit off of one another as there's like um, the slightest bit of sourceless light um, uh, creating this strange effect upon the room. It's almost like uh, uh, black mirrors all over you. As you begin to uh, walk down this hallway, 
he come to like an intersection that has like four different ways that you can go. He goes down like the left one and he points down and he says, just keep going down that way. Much obliged. He nods and then as if this is extremely routine for him, he just walks away. Hmm. Well, sounds like it's gonna be pretty dangerous down there. When has it not been? This time is different. There's no coming back potentially. Once we go down there. Anybody have anything to say before we do? Uh, I don't know. Take my body back home. If you can. Sure. Kurt, uh, if, it, if you make it, you can go through all my stuff. Contents of my drawer, my drawer from home. Is Are we talking about like, if we make it? No, if you make it and I don't, you oh. can go through all my things. Oh, I, but if you make it back and I make it back, I cannot go through your things. I think I did <laughs> promise you that you could, but I'm just going to go back on that and say that um, either way you can go through my stuff. Oh. I don't care. Well, I appreciate that. And I, I don't think I'll be able to haunt you because uh, I'll be a uh, soul and... Cross is in your body, actually, so... Uh, oh, well, if yeah. my body's not there, I guess it's, find it. I did kind of ban from out of it for a minute. Which is actually a very interesting thing, which means... Gratz's presence isn't connected to your soul, but rather to your body. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of good, right? But that also means he's piloting your body right now. Yeah. Well, he's got about, like... Was he going <laughs> to pilot? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? What, what is he, he going to do in the shadow here? fell? I don't know. Our bodies All are there, too. All of our soft, <laughs> supple bodies are around. What? <laughs> <A> fair. <laughs> he just... He didn't, he didn't seem like he would just, you know, take that as you will. I was trying to do a stack, but parts can make I don't know why, there. but he seems to like most of us. Thank you. Well, well, the, the same way that a, that a Trust me, he'll get tiger likes whatever it's stalking. It's right, but... but he, he will get bored eventually. Well, but right now at He's least got a whole it's probably to not as... Uh, as if he's stalking us, he probably doesn't want to attack us when we're at our like, quietest. He probably wants to have fun with it. Well, look, we can pontificate about the ins and outs of demonic possession all day long. Look, I if I don't make it back, I want you to take my body and I want you to throw it in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I think we already knew to do that. Well, uh, I mean, just to make it crystal clear. Anything else? If you didn't tell us that. Any right. part of the sea? Like a specific I area? Mean, I guess all of the sea channels into her great hate womb. Like and that is like where the, I would uh, like to rest. Like just pod dropped is. in wherever we uh, find the ocean first. <laughs> just toss them into a pond. Toss them into a pond. Not a, <laughs> not a pond. <laughs> not a pond, not a lake, right? Just right, no, a the open sea. Open yeah, sea. Like a creek. On the rocks. I'll be honest. I was surprised that I knew that. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I don't know. Tell Vince that I was sorry if I don't make it back because, well, then I would have failed to get my brother back, who's, you know. We might, yeah, oh, find him yeah, down here. Yeah, that's right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Whatever yeah. happens, find Ashkari. If you somehow get my brother but not me, don't tell my brother that happened because I'm pretty sure you just go back. Okay. Which okay. defeats the purpose. L so, of, you know. lie to your brother if I have to. Not a good liar, but I will. <laughs> I am a good liar. I'll let we'll Kurt let talk. Kurt do it. <laughs> I don't know that that'll go over well, but we'll let Put Kurt talk. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I do not have much to say because the people are most important to me are right here. So. Fayla's just gonna like try to hug. Can oh. can hug. You go over to Lelia, and as you try to you go over to hug her, you there's like there's a little <laughs> bit of resistance, Aww. but it's like. <laughs> eh. uh, okay. Uh, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Pats the air, you know, kind of there. Pats the air, you know. <laughs> There's like a little Look. bit of resistance, oh. like <laughs> the feeling, like when you put your hand over like a fan, you know, <laughs> like that, like that, like movement of air, like that's what it feels like. <laughs> oh, Phelan, bring it in. <laughs> Fuck it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I stick my hand through. <laughs> It's like, oh, wow, you really got nothing in here. Right, shall we? Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. <laughs> you don't have anything you want? Oh, goodness. He's got the ears yeah. just like... Like a statue of solid gold made in your memoriam? 
What? You don't want like a statue of gold made we in your memorial. Sh- that'd be really cool. Body but, into uh, a molten gold. I'll plant all those seeds. All the beans. Do all the I have the bag of beans with me? Uh, you do. Oh no. I'll I'll plant every single one of them. Uh, there are five oh left. Oh my it's god. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Game? I'm not doing that. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding? <laughs> Stitches, <laughs> Stitch, <laughs> Stitches, uh, right. curious. He's not See, that curious. Philip, you're not such a bad liar. No, I, I'll do it. I <laughs> sounds like a threat. <laughs> I have a, a list of things that I have to do now. All right, let's go. Still, I have to kill Core's master, but I think we figured out who that is. Yeah. Yeah. That's like end goals now. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately. The last time we were going into yeah. a deadly situation. Core's master's, master's killer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good Fuck enough. Core. He's killer master. Yeah. <laughs> He's, He's already dead. dead. He's already dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Find him. We can kill him again. Here. Finish him off. We yeah. could. Well, we could. If he hasn't Same. passed on to a different plane. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh. Uh-oh. Did you have one thing? Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. If you, if I don't make it out, but you guys do, and you ever run into someone by the name of Talia Adler, tell her I'm sorry. Talia Adler? What'd you do to Talia Adler? Like, what are we sorrowing for? Talia Adler. To break her heart. No. And she's a stealer boyfriend. Well, I... (laughs) We we could also just let it be... Well, look, we're, we're going to walk up to someone and say, sorry. No, you know, well, just, we just say Lelia know, says that she's sorry. But what if she doesn't know what that's... Like, what if she's like, well, what's she sorry about? Would she know? And within re- what regard? I don't know. Kind of. Um, she was my friend before everything. Oh. Okay. Is she horribly disfigured? Did she burn? No, she was not in the car. I'm more just sorry that this has all happened. Yeah, okay. I used yeah. the acorn from the Fairy Prince. Yeah, <laughs> Fairy King. <laughs> to look it on her, I didn't. Fairy King. Talia Hitler. She seemed focused on something, something that had to do with worlds. Okay. A lot happened. You guys met a fairy king? No, I'm yeah. not entirely convinced that happened. They said they did. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, we're kite. We're kite. An we, elaborate <laughs> gaslighting. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we, <laughs> we were. You motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 it was cute at first. Hey, hey guys, we, we, we've uh, we've kind of been standing at the doorway of the culmination of the last like week and a half of our journeys. We want to step through. <laughs> we can wait a little bit longer. It's kind of intimidating, you know. It's really Let's big go. doors. <laughs> <laughs> the low screen. For no one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the last day. time we did this, someone did die. So. so yeah. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes when you speak, I can hear her voice. <laughs> 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 Stitch. 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 <laughs> you guys walk. You guys make your way down, and as you do, uh, it's this long Stitch. staircase. You two don't have to um, uh, go down. The rest of the party, you guys are walking down the staircase slowly, slowly, until eventually, after a few minutes of walking down this incredibly long staircase, it opens up into what looks like a, like a library, but a library that's cold and dark. There's no warmth of books here. Instead, you see black slate cubbies holding millions of objects. And they, it's, it's not just like the circular room that goes up, it's, it's like this long, um, endless room of, of what look like shelves upon shelves that bisect and turn into different areas. Um, you see uh, the walls are all covered in objects and whatnot, and occasionally you see what looks like um, uh, uh, a, a vacant spirit sort of like, like move through one, and then another like, wow. And then in the distance, in the darkness, you can see what it look like, like, cre- uh, like beings sort of like move like shift in the darkness. Can we can we see well in here? Um, like those of us with dark vision. Yeah, so it's not the it's, it's not, not the, like the like the pure darkness, black. Darkness. Yeah, it's, it's it's darkness by virtue of darkness. Okay. Um, there's just not a lot of light in here. There okay. is light coming from like um, 
it's strange because there's this ambient light that seems to be sourceless, um, creating sort of like dim light, but out to like maybe a <coughs> hundred feet or so, it's it's dark. Okay. Do you have the drift glow potentially? Don't yeah, you, you do. Yeah. It go, and as it glows, you watch as you see uh, the reflection of creatures' eyes in the distance. Oh. Dark, Turn it off. Um, sort of greenish <laughs> blue, hunched over people that have like these long, twisted tongues around their body and like smoke like shadow coming off their back. You see four of them just ahead, and they <sighs> as they clutch onto these objects that are around them. And then, <sighs> Ooh, way easy there. And I'm then you watch. As they just <laughs> begin oh, to okay. sprint their way towards oh. you, everybody roll initiative. <laughs> turn it off! Turn it off! <laughs> turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Right. But then we can't see. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna draw a little map for you guys here. Uh, man, is initiative an ability check? Eight. It, it is. is. Ability check. Eight. Are you? Are you? Do you still have a level of exhaustion? I have two levels. Oh. Of you do not have those levels of exhaustion. Never mind. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, you Raven Queen. I did. <laughs> Man, Gross Gross is gonna wake up. You're like, like oh. <laughs> you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> Grotch is like, oh, oh damn it. <laughs> All my hard work. Yeah. I played myself. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> excuse me. You're excuse. Hello, Spencer. Hello. <laughs> you're like, get the fuck away from me. Ew. Oh god. It's like a shelf. I'm imagining. Oh, I thought that was like the map. It's like that's yeah, just a single <laughs> file. <laughs> I'm imagining like um. Like an evidence room, but in like a horror movie, where like they're trying to get something from like a murder case, and there's like ghosts following mm -hmm. them. That type of like spooky horror mm -hmm. movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. <coughs> and like the lights are all dim. And yeah. Or flickering. Yeah. yeah. There's it's the the lights were like only the one you're under I is live, on. I live for me drawing the map and Jack leaning on me. <laughs> Aww. It's the only thing sweet I can live for. Boys. <laughs> only thing. You're, you're like, that's the only reason I come over to this side yeah, of the yeah. table. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually easier on the other side of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll just do... <sighs> just keep making Spencer mm -hmm. jealous. Mm hmm I think Spencer's just kind of accepted it at this point. Yeah. I think she knows that I'm not really gonna do anything. Yeah. But, yeah. but I'm harmless. I'm like a fly. And mm -hmm. I just I'm just kinda here buzzing. Yeah. Okay, so those are all like shelves. One of these those shelves. Um yeah. can you guys Swap. go ahead and put your minis down right over by the entrance that you just came in? You know, put me over there. And Colton, could you Same. um address the board camera for me? Okay. Someday I'll paint my mini. What, what, yeah. what, what, what do you need me to do no, with this? I have the new mini and then someday I'll paint your the rest of your mini. I think it kind of oh, fits, because cool. this isn't like totally Laszlo. He's yeah. not totally there. He's all beige. Oh, <laughs> Kurt is. Uh, yeah, Kurt, Kurt is. Uh... Kurt's like, wow, look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> is that some seawater? Yeah. On the shelf? <laughs> sure, this undead Goliath. Huh? This undead Goliath? Promising. Yeah, he's, oh, he's a good a lad. Significant number of them. Interesting. There's four. <laughs> one there. One here. Yeah, it's that guy from the beginning of the campaign. Okay. I would qualify four as a significant number. The bucket guy? The bucket guy's brother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, bucket guy's brother. What if all miss bucket guy? Oh my god. <laughs> no, he lived. He's like, he got a bunch of buckets. <laughs> but his soul didn't. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. He lived. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's okay. just, it's literally like. Lily, what'd you roll? Pain. Roll the four. Oh. Phelan? Uh, 18. Kurt? Eight. Oh, Philip? 17. Laszlo? I also rolled a 17. <gasps> wow. 22. And. <laughs> so fast. 22. I, I rolled a 19. Oh. Wow. Okay, so, um. Uh, that one over there is gonna go. He's first. He, ro he rolled that 23 that on his. Um, you watch as he walks forward, goes over to the shelf, oh, just five feet, just five oh feet. Oh God. <laughs> goes over towards the shelf, and on the interior of the shelf, you watch as he uh, he reaches in. It's gonna be like a Pokemon battle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, hmm. yeah, I have a think. question, Jacob. Think, Are these guys considered undead? Hmm. Yes. All right, good. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have, I would have disadvantage Your on everything. Your rings are like on fire right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, because yeah. you guys are here, otherwise I'd have well, disadvantage on everything. The entire attack. place is very. 
Yeah. Undead. We are in undead lands, yeah. so. Zombie land. You watch Great. as he reaches in and he grabs like an amalgamation of things. You see, uh, he grabs like a book, there's a vase, know. and then in the vase is like an eye patch. <sighs> And you recognize the eye patch. <gasps> Fuck her! Oh, no, no way! He turns and he, ah, and he scurry away. So he's gonna go. He's uh, scurrying he's away. Go five, <laughs> yeah. and then ten, fifteen, he's 20, away with 25, oh, 30. No. Yep. And, ah, and he starts to run away. Wait, what's the eye patch? <laughs> Stitch it to your turn. Is that important? Yes. Uh, do you want to go over there? I'm gonna go after him. Okay, vortex warp. Felix's Fe- oh, there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be able to see where he's going. For vortex work. Uh, if I do, forge. what are these? Uh, those are pretty tall, like oh. like the things. Shelves. Okay, yeah, you can go over there. Yeah, there. Now you can do it. And oh is it thirty God. feet? It's ninety feet. Ninety feet. Oh sheesh! Okay. It's like the divinity thing where <laughs> you just fall flat. Yeah. <laughs> eighty. That's eighty. Yeah. Nice. See, I didn't. I knew the I knew the have to see thing. I actually didn't know I couldn't do it on myself. Yeah. Which is interesting. Um, um you watch as Phelan just appears over there. There you go. And then uh, <laughs> crossbow. Uh, oh wait, does oh, this one have anything cool on him? Uh, that guy right in front of you. Yeah. He has a um, he has a helmet and he has a sword and he has um, what looks like an orb. Do any of those mean anything to me? Do they? I don't think so. <laughs> With any crossbow. Else? I just I didn't hear what he said. Uh, the deadass thought you were going to say, there's a vase with an iPad. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't dirty 20 to hit. Phelan's like, that's curious iPad. <laughs> D- dirty 20 to hit. No, that's what Vincent, Vincent yeah. paid Bro, and gave to Curious <laughs> for Christmas. God. Yeah. Vincent would love Oh would my love god. Technology. I'll go ahead and fury of the small list to add 8 damage. <laughs> so it'll be twenty <coughs> or 19 damage. 19 damage. You can't lose his <laughs> <laughs> You shoot him in the back, and it's like, oh, and it looks over at you pretty angry. Um, so yeah. Is that your turn? Uh, yep. This is, it is the creature's turn. Which one? Of course it is. Um, he is going to uh, w- move over to you. Yep. Uh, yep. And he is going to uh, make a bite and a claw. Look, attack. I'm chilling. My AC is 18. I'm good. <laughs> Jacob, can you get me Why? a, um, a Strong tentacle? On your... <laughs> I forgot to print another fucking tentacle. Oh. Hey, Jacob. You print, should print, print a one. tentacle. This is the worst time to remind you. <laughs> I mean, we tried to remind you last time. <laughs> and the time before that. Remind him on a There's Tuesday evening. <laughs> yeah, it's on video. You get a hand. Aww. That's, that's what you get. That's what Big Bish hand. You get a fucking hand. It's okay. the smallest high five you can make. <laughs> yeah. Aww. At least it's not the so cutting hand. It could be the cutting hand. Of course, yep, that'll hit. And a 16 on the that'll claw. That'll miss. <laughs> claw misses. The bite hits you. As the bite hits you, uh-huh. you die. You, <laughs> you are dead. Strange. Okay. It's you turn it's into like you're feeling pain, and you could take damage to this form if you'd like to. Alternatively, oh, that's right. You could resist that. You could give away some of what your soul is in order to negate this damage. What does that mean? Fuck around and find out. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Grace is right. It doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean it's a death. It just, it just. No, Grace is right. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. The, the, um, the, you sort of, uh, uh, the, the bite goes through you and doesn't seem to do anything. Temporarily for now, this is a permanent thing, but for now it's going to be permanent. Uh, your, decrease either your intelligence, wisdom, or charisma by one. Okay. Hey guys, we're like invincible over here. <laughs> I'll, I'll take the I'll take it's a charisma. It's the eye patch or the the vase or the uh, book, right? Uh, Any of those yeah, it's a two? book, a vase, and, a, and an eye patch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are those of, are the other two? Do they look familiar too? Um, no, no, they don't. I took an eye patch out of a vase. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, just take the whole vase. <laughs> you take it? He's going to take the vase. Just the whole thing. Because the eye okay, patch is so in that, there, right? Uh, contest athletics are... Um, you use athletics. He uses acrobatics or athletics. Oh, wow. <laughs> Rude. My arm hurts so much. Do, do, do. Are you sure I can't get a- acrobatics? It'd be no. kind of nice. No. It'd be kind of nice. Are you sure? Quickly take it away. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> do a backflip as you take it. <laughs> 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 you do a backflip over. It's not even the backflip that like does it. He's just so distracted. He's like, what? Uh, 
Hang on. Thirteen. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. You reach over and you like and you like grab the vase and he like <laughs> and he rips it out of your hands. He's probably like surprised. Uh, that's just an attack. <sighs> so you still have another attack. Yeah. If you wanted to make an yeah, attack, you could. Just sort of stab him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just stab him. Fuck it. Unfortunately, so that was okay. So that was an attack. So there's this is a bonus action, basically, right? Um, do you have extra attack? Yeah. Uh, and you have you have two swords. No, I count as uh, a grapple or like a anything like that as an attack action. So with your extra attack, you can you can make two more if you want. That's primarily. There you go. So it's not the attack action, you count it as one attack. Oh, did you start with your turn within five feet of this creature? Yes. Oh, do your thing first, and then we'll do that at the end. Oh. Oh, there's a thing. Huh. What'd you get? What'd you get? One of those is gonna hit. One of those is definitely gonna hit. The other, I don't know. What's your bonus to that other one? <laughs> plus 10? Plus 10. Seven. I'm sorry, Both not even those that. I'm sorry, hit. it's like plus nine. I lied. I, I'm a liar. Still gonna hit. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, never mind. It's plus eleven. Uh, yeah, that is <laughs> plus eleven. <laughs> Sorry, I care my own bonuses. Yeah. Uh, well, now it doesn't. Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously, to see. too high. It's it, it, it's. Sorry, brain. The first Thaco? edition of okay, yeah, that's it's twenty-seven. Thaco. And then that is eighteen. Thaco. Yep, both hit. Okay, cool. I see. I just kind of want to find out what happens. If if you lose your soul. Or yeah, well, no. The fact that I started five it's feet. Probably not a oh, good like, thing. Like it's just kind of like he's he probably can't, stinky that's what or I was something. Say. Yeah. He can't just he's move just on. Oh, that's nice. stinky. So I'll give you this so this option stinky. as well. Uh huh. If you would like, you can double the damage you're about to deal to this creature, <laughs> so long as you give away a part of your soul. Mm. Riddle me this. <laughs> Batman. Does seventeen damage do much to it? Ooh. You fuck. Don't do this to me. I am going to do this to you. you got to make a choice. <laughs> I'm just going to take this damage. Okay. 17 damage. Yeah. <laughs> no. no Maybe next out. turn Yeah, you'll that's find my out. He's not bloodied, Grace. Oh, no. You, know, you, psh, 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 you stab him twice. Ah. Um, and <laughs> as you like try to take the thing from you, take your swords, you just, you fuck. You just stab him. And, <laughs> um, and then we're going to do the thing we should have done at the beginning of the turn. Go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. He smells terrible. <laughs> <laughs> He's stinky. He's stinky. Uh oh, stinky. stinky. It's like this mixture of like, uh, it's not like corpse, it's like mold and Ugh. rot. Ooh. And yeah, it's really nice. Oh, that's worse. You get like stuck <coughs> in your nose and it's molding. Scarlet. Visions of millennia. <laughs> You say that, and I can only think uh -oh. of like a really oh, gross oh, towel, no. or like a wet you towel. You haven't flipped your coin yet, have you? Like, I have not. Yeah. Too long after yeah. Unfortunately, you were poisoned Milton. until the start of your next turn, which uh. is kind of useless. So, uh, because that should have been a thing, it's going to be until the end of your next That's turn. That's fine. Last one. Okay. On the 5, 10, 15, I see that fella. Yep. What's he holding? Uh, he has a knife. <gasps> oh. What's he got? A knife! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, like, he's like... Oh! <laughs> 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 Funny, he's like... <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, fuck it, I'll hit him. Okay. Smack. Yeah, smack. give him a little, a little smack. Boom! Oh. Boom! That's a Boom. Um, Am I hit? Yeah, my head. Maybe. Uh, plus. Plus nine. Wait. Eleven to hit. Eleven misses. I, for I forgot you and I have not very. You and I are the ones with the low bonuses. <laughs> oh, no, I've got extra. That's the same. Plus nine. That's two less than mine. Plus yeah. six. <laughs> Mine's a plus nine too. I'm. I just have a special sword. <laughs> it's literally. Uh, I have spells. Twenty something. Hit. Cool. I'm not gonna do that math right now. Yeah, I have plus six and plus four, respectively. Um, Ten points of slashing damage, All right. and his speed is reduced by ten feet. Oh, nice! Ooh, I'm cool, a slasher. Cool, cool. This you is my horror him. movie. Baby. Slasher, no slashing. You slice into him, and as he hit him, his hamstring hurts a little bit. He's like, oh, he burps. <laughs> he goes, oh, oh, that was in there. Let me double check something really quick. Yes, that is how that works. Reduce the speed of the target creature by ten feet. Gotcha. Phil, that's my turn. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. Can you move me up to the ghast guy? I think that's a ghast, right? Oh, here? Yeah. yeah. Does he got anything cool on him? <laughs> this guy has what looks like a hat, like a top hat, and he's wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he also has, um, he's holding some <coughs> boots, and then he also has like a necklace in his right hand. Oh. Do I recognize any of 
Yeah, you recognize those boots. I'm just gonna those you boots, don't they were my mom's. Those are your mom's boots. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll attack She's him. <laughs> Why are they here? <laughs> oh no, what does that mean? <laughs> what? It, well, we, uh, as far as we know, we, uh, Philip's mom is alive. Is, is alive. It, uh, but if her boots are here. 14 and 19. Oh, no. 14 and 19? The 14 misses, the 19 hits. Okay. All right, we're slowly figuring out this thing they see. <laughs> <laughs> it's above 14 and below 17. <laughs> so, 15 or 16. Nine damage. Possibly. Nine damage? Yes. Do you want to give a part away of your soul to deal No, I like having a soul. Okay. Um, <laughs> Stitch is like, Why am I the only one that <laughs> does this deal? Okay, <laughs> guys, well, I'm invincible. Question, okay. question, yeah. though. Mm-hmm. Never mind, never mind. I'll save it for what I'm doing. Look, I, yeah. took, I took the charisma hit. So. Oh, it's okay. good. Oh, no. Uh, some wisdom. All right, so uh, <laughs> that yeah, one in the middle wisdom. there, um, that uh, uh, the one in front of you, yeah. Yeah. Well, is going to turn around. He's going to uh, disengage. He's going to go over to the wall. He's going to climb up it. Oh. He's going to be up 30 what? feet. Up here? Yep. He just goes up. He climbs up 30 feet. Right and here. he's at the top. And he's looking around. And then he looks off in the distance. And he like he's entranced by something he sees in the distance. But you can't see it. Is he just standing there? He's, he gets to the top. And then he looks over and he goes. <sighs> and he's, like, <laughs> so, he like, so he like blank faces and. Like he he climbs up and then sees something in the distance. It's, it's like, like me whenever I see a pretty person. Does it look like he's about to make a move, <laughs> or does it look like cool. he's a person? Roll insight. <laughs> I'm good at these. Mine, oh, that's actually pretty mine good. Last no, seventeen. Huh? He mine looks obsessed. No work, no work. Like he wants yeah, to get like whatever work. he's looking at. Um, <laughs> oh, this one's got an eye on something. Everyone. That one in front of you, Philip, is uh, going to make two attacks against you, a bite and a claw. Okay. Um, that is a 11 miss. and a, I rolled really bad, a 12. Uh, miss. Ping, ping, doesn't hit you, tries to bite you, ah, and then turns around. He's going to walk away from you. You can get an opportunity to attack on him if you'd like. He's going to walk away. And he's going to go into that cubby right there. He's working on Mr. Oh, no. <laughs> 15? Um, needs to beats it. Uh-huh. There we go. I found it, guys. Found it. Uh-huh. Kurt, you're on deck. Four, five, uh, nine more. What if Kurt's name is Curtis? Kurt- Anyways. Curtis? Uh, you, how much damage? Nine more. Kurtless. Well, Curtis. My brother Curtis. 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 Curtis is here? D&D Curtis Beyond? Savorius. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> my brother in Curtis 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 is Curtis. Curtis. Beyond has little new icons for the uh, conditions. Yeah, oh. yeah that's pretty cool. Oh, does it? Um, he's going to go over to that, that wall oh, right yeah. there. You watch as he sticks his hands in. He grabs an amalgamation of things. You watch as he grabs a... Uh, he, he grabs a um, <laughs> he grabs a sheath, he grabs a picture frame, and he grabs a uh, a deck set of um, uh, boss monsters. <gasps> and he puts it in the thing. Goblin oh, monsters. Oh my God. Goblin monsters. And he starts to run that way, and cards are falling out behind him. Uh, Those yeah. were my dad. How, <laughs> How much more speed does he have? Uh, he's, got, um, he's got 35 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35? Uh, he already moved five feet to get away from Philip, so that sh- he should be right there. And he turns and he sees his fellow... Uh, Shadow Gast is uh, needs needs help, so he he's like, I gotta kill this random guy Caleb, who's trying to take this. Uh, Kurt Saber, oh. your turn. Uh-oh. Why did I say your full name? <laughs> I was like, what? Huh? Curtis it's just, it's Savorius. I read, I read the character sheet. Curtis Kurt, Savorius. Curtis Savorius. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's a hair. I mean, a tentacle. <laughs> it's a hair. <laughs> Was that a hand with the chain? It's not a tentacle, it's just the it's the crack in the hand. Um I will uh, hold forth my hands and summon a a wave of radiant energy and it will (laughs) crash against this that also Jack, I can't believe you wouldn't assume Ashkari wouldn't take Lazo's last name. That's just shocking. Really? Do you think Ashkari would take Lazo's last name? She probably, she probably wanted distance herself. Nah, from oh no, she yeah. would absolutely. First that makes a lot of sense. Last <laughs> yeah. Keep her. <laughs> keep her low. <laughs> oh, um, actually, she I don't then be have to make any roll. Uh, he needs to make a, a dexterity. Oh, well, what's that? <laughs> sorry. Uh, he's uh, your <laughs> character. Yeah. Uh, sorry. It's what's that? Uh, 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 it's sacred flame. Sacred. Oh. Uh, well, he rolls a they don't big have old last name. They just a deck save. Yes. Oh Start my goodness. <laughs> he rolls Deverin. Thir- uh, Deverin. Oh. Fourteen. 
Right. Got same it. amount of syllables in the same last letter. That's Dash Kari's other last name. Kurt, would you like to give away a piece of your soul? No, I would not. What do you like to give away? Uh, 22 <laughs> radiant damage. Yeah, that guy is mortal. <laughs> <laughs> this holy light uh, envelops him. This energy crackling with with Umberly's uh, essence uh, nearly brings him down, but he's still 22. alive. Huh? 22. And then 22? does a tentacle whack him? Uh, the he's tentacle mortal? missed. Okay. Uh, I did. I did 19 to him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, I'm just very... I'm doing this more less because it's helpful and more because <laughs> I'm curious as to what would happen. Good. I'm going to go here. Okay. And then next to the guy who's on top of a bookshelf, I'm going to cast Summon Undead. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. what? You simply reach out and it mm-hmm. fa- you fail to... to does, that, does that use my action? Uh, no, I'll just say no. Like, you're like, okay, can I? I just can't I'm feel it. it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Cool. Not feeling it today. Hmm. Very cool. It's not even available. It's like grayed out on your spell slot. I was you know? just very <laughs> interested to see what what would happen. <laughs> you click on um, it and go, <laughs> Let's... Raven Queen going, oh, again later. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Sorry, do... we cannot complete your, uh, your request. <laughs> 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 Let's do test number two, I guess, because okay. apparently all I do is test in these combats anymore. Um... That guy still, because I can see mm-hmm. him, uh, told it in. With some save. Five. Uh, fail. Gotta pay five Would it like to, to give part of its soul? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, <Chris>. um, <laughs> Okay, you know what? I will. <laughs> he's long gone. Um, he's resistant. To That's what we turn into. Resistant. There we go. That's good hey, to know. That's, that's better than with. Okay, I can cross out shadow Has thing? he been damaged? Him. Okay, so D12. So he's missing his own. These, uh, the stab log I'm using is from uh, uh, Wild Mount. Oh, the Shadowcast. Shadow 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 Do you think that was a reference? <laughs> to uh, to Shadowcast? The Essex and Caleb ship. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be a great. A deep cut. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. My rolls. Um, what did you roll? 16 already halved. Wow. Oh, oh, wow, that one is is, uh, wow. is bloody. Wow, wow. wow. Uh, Top it around. Um, the one that uh, the one that uh, one that you're, you're currently in combat with uh-huh. is angry that you're trying to take its precious precious items and well, it's going fucked. to disengage. And it's going to run 35 feet that way. What? Five. <laughs> you seem very angry. Very angry. Wants to get away. I'm faster. How dare you? <laughs> like, well, I'm faster than you. <laughs> well, so long as I can do so any I damage. Imagine yeah. I need to roll a con save. Indeed, you need What's this area? Save. What did they say this area was called? The Fifteen. Hall of Souls. You, Hall of Souls. you succeed. You are not poisoned. The Hall and of I will attempt to stab the, this him. Of holes. <laughs> you are now immune to the stench <laughs> for twenty minutes. Like wax <laughs> hey. Is it this that, one like, stench or all of the stenches? Yeah, I still do the stage. We're like the okay. one Tumblr posts where they're like. Uh, actually, figure. that one's going to do something. As it goes off into the distance, uh-huh. how much light does your drift globe create? Huh. Oh, come on, man. Sorry. You need to like prepare like me for these because I have to go like pull that. these up. I don't trust you, Colton. <laughs> I think it's 30 because I don't think it's 60. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Straight up. Is it 2020? Is it 2020? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Do, do, do. It's 2022, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's uh. Well, it's more of it produces light can trip, so it's, yeah, 20 feet. <coughs> it, if you're 60 feet away from it, it'll move towards you. Is it on you? Uh, you got teleported. Yeah. So it's like right. Does it not follow you, or, or does there it you stay there? Let me, let me just double check more. Sorry. <laughs> Well, if it was it's on important. your person, I apologize. Yeah. If it was on your person, it probably would have gone with you. Right? Yeah, it, it'll fall. It takes the shortest route to do so. It just boom. <laughs> 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 <It's like Yeah. laughs> it so, goes so like. So that's twenty feet of bright light. Yeah. Okay, so that that it's guy. It's within its dim light. He, if that yeah, matters. Yeah, shadow stealth. When in dim light or darkness, you can take the hide action as a bonus action. Hmm. Well, you go. I crouch. Yeah. What's it gonna make? Well, you know, you got a 10, but you still know where he is. Technically, he could roll a 28, and he yeah. can steal from you. Uh-huh. Oh my god, but he has to roll a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> You're broken. I feel like it's more not even seeing him, it's smelling him. Yeah, he's, 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 he's stinky. 15 to hit. Hit. That's primarily why. He's just like... Yep. 
fail and activate your dog senses. <laughs> They're always active. I can't avoid <laughs> that's, it. That's uh, the eight damage. My pupper's magic. Damage. Uh, that's that exactly his health. You kill him. Oh, uh, hey. You go over and what? Uh, how do you kill? Him? Short sword. You stab him. And he's, <laughs> ah, how do you he kill him? He falls onto the ground. <laughs> um, not into a pool of shadows. Not as a ghost. He falls onto the ground. <laughs> Just as a corpse. Yeah, that's fair. Well, that's rough, buddy. That's turn. Do, do you, what do you have on him again? They're people. Uh, a helmet, a sword, and, uh, an, orb. and, yep, an, orb. and an orb. I'll take the orb. Sword and orb. I could have re rolled some of my damage. Orb. I'm a dummy. Um, Failing. Cool. Um, he moved 35 feet. Yep. He, has, he has 45 feet of movement. Well, you <laughs> catch up with him. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. A downside is I'll have disadvantage, but isn't the drift club next to you? <coughs> disadvantage because he's stinky. Oh, he's that's right. Yeah. 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 Roll another con save for him. No, you didn't start your turn. So he did. Stitch killed him. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah. Shanked him with his short sword. <laughs> Very unceremonious. You blasted him with guiding energy, and then he was like, ah, and then Stitch was like, and he's like, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I have to roll a. He has 15. Mm -hmm. I have to roll really low. <laughs> Miss him. Uh, uh, 19? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm going to hit him again. Okay. <laughs> it's just testing it out. Whack, yeah. whack, whack. Uh, 13. A miss. It's the lowest I can roll without a 1. Oh, wow. <laughs> One of, <laughs> <laughs> one of the lowest I can roll without a one? Six. <laughs> <laughs> and a dirty twenty. Six. That is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oops. I think with my spells, it's the same. I think I have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Same attack bonus. Okay. Six. 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 Hey, I've been living, though. Mm-hmm. I've been I've been proven the doubters wrong. I'm capable of keeping a character alive. Uh, yeah. twenty one damage? So far. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> he is mortal. Not no, I'm mean, sorry, bloodied. Cool. And then Blabbing. can I just Number. take a step back? Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's gonna whack you. Okay. He's gonna whack you. Wait, this is a trick. He's gonna claw you step with a back. fucking That's thirteen. Bad, no. <laughs> <laughs> Laszlo. What are you doing that for? What are you doing? Five feet! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ew, you're gross! He's too exactly! <laughs> He's too stinky. How tall are these? 30 feet. Misty stuff. Uh, Ooh, that's cool. And I'm gonna whack him. What? <laughs> then I start whacking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna whack. help you out. I'm gonna do a thing, because I totally should have done this. Don't use your Misty stuff. Oh, because I'm you a spirit. You, what's my oh, speed? We fly. Uh, same as your movement. Oh. Um, can I get up here with 30 feet of flight? Yep. We just... Because my Pythagorean Theorem can eat my ass. Um, you make your way up, cool. stand right next to him, and as you get so, you see what he's fixated on. You look off in the distance, and um, uh, kind of about 50 feet that way, there is... Uh, uh, this like wall of stuff. So like, imagine like a wall of stuff. Just a bunch of shit. And then there is yeah. And then there's like a, a podium next to it, like a like a staircase that goes up to like a, a small balcony, like railings on the side of it. All of it's black. And there is a uh, there's a podium in the center of that as a surrounded by stuff. And it's the keeper's mask. Mm. Fuck. And Get this guy's like staring at. It. He's like, um. Get her. <laughs> oh shit. What do you see, Laszlo? That's my wife. Uh, <laughs> he goes, uh, uh. Um, I'm just tempted to try something, but it might not work, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, I will. How far away is it? Fifty feet. Oh, sweet. Fifteen. Um, Fifteen. Five zero. Oh. Uh, I will dash. Okay. Provoke an attack of opportunity from this guy if he wants to try yep, and he's give, give me a smack. Is give that big booty a smack. Um, fly another 30 feet to get there. Okay. Misty step. Get oh! There. <laughs> Sorry, all, right. all the way You are right in front of I will use my misty step if I wish to. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you yeah, are, put, you are right put yourself to all the way at the end of the... Yeah, you're there. Yeah. Um, you are right in front of it. That's my turn, probably. Yep. Okay. Uh, Philip. 
Um, As the giant That guy ran away from me. <laughs> Five, ten. Can you move me up to that gas guy again? He's running away from me. That's kind of rude. Uh, oh my god, I couldn't even see him. Yeah. Uh, he was hiding. He's running. Me. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll bonk him. I saw one comment. Lily, it said Lily needs a VPN. Yeah, I, that's what I showed Jack. I put that as a Jack. What you get, sorry? Double miss. Double miss. Double Shit. miss. You suck. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Damn. Grab, if you only had grass. Huh? Only say that because they're married. Yeah. Should have had grass. That yeah. sh that shadow guest is very angry that you're getting what it wants. So uh, it's now going to. Now that you to... pointed out the shadow guest thing, I can't stop thinking about it. Right. <laughs> like, oh. Neither can most of the critical role community. Yeah. Uh, it's going to get right behind you. It's oh. going to jump to the other side. I just counted it. It runs all the way over, and then it gets all the way right behind. I have you. a question. It can get if that it, far. You can go seven feet. Can I ask you a question? Holy if crap. it yeah, jumps well, down 35. thirty feet, would well, it take damage from falling? Well, the. They move 35. Not well, if he rolls a 15 on his athletics check. But my question right. is, I've like flown through the air to get here. Yeah. Is he can he can just Oh, like it's like up there. railing and stuff, isn't it? When you have to climb the steps. You you described like a balcony and steps and whatnot. Hang on. Let me think. So put him back 10 feet because the stairs would be difficult to Like in which direction? It just to, to, to my right, towards you. Yep, he's right there. He's just on the stairs up on, on his way towards you. Yeah, he like jumped across the other one and then like jumped on the ground. Um, and Colton, that actually doesn't doesn't take no damage. He's going to take half. Gotcha. Uh, I don't know. I don't carry the way. I just it's 12 <laughs> bludgeoning damage. I think it's like a pillar that goes up. To okay. it's, it's, a, it's a circular like um, uh, uh, sure. library of, of mementos that go up about 30 feet. Yeah. Um, the one that, you, uh, Philip, this one is going to uh, look over at you, and it's going to, it looks at you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went. It's a 19 and a dirty it, 20. It had to think about it. A what? 19 and a dirty 20. Those both hit. Wow. Would oh, you geez, like to geez. negate the damage of one of them and give away a part of your soul? Oh, boy. I me. like having a soul, so I think I'll take some damage. Okay. You take. <laughs> you take fifteen slashing damage, and uh, on top of that, you take five necrotic damage. I am resistant. <coughs> That's cool. So three, right? Yep. Um, and then you take twenty up. slashing damage from its claw. Oh! Ow. Roll a Constitution right. saving throw. So I will oh, be selecting soul a majority of the time because <laughs> that would be massive damage for me. Wait, you always round up, right? No, yeah. you always round down. Maybe in this game we round up. Do we do I? No, never Craig rounds up, rounds up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Content? Yeah. 16. So you oh, succeed. I'm you are not paralyzed. I heal. Kurt. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Kurt's going to um, get on Kurt, the You stop bottom. feeling your legs. <laughs> you know what? I'm feeling a lot better about picking You're soul right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get on your broom. Be honest with you. Start flying over. But now we know. <laughs> do not pass go. Yeah. Do not no. collect keeper mask. That's um, Laszlo's. Yeah, don't do it. Craig's <laughs> like, that belongs to Laser Wolf. Laser Wolf. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, oh, sorry. Actually, I forget. <laughs> Fun fact, when Jordan first said that, that's a Fiddler on the Roof reference, and I didn't get it until after I the session. I thought for sure <laughs> he was going to get it, and we were all going to laugh and go, and he, it breezed I I right over his I texted head. him after the session. <laughs> it's uh, still going over my head. Dirty 20. Yes, sir. He's a character from Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> Laser Wolf? Yeah. Yeah. He's the, he's the guy that, he's the butcher who's going to marry Saito, Tevia's daughter. Laser Wolf. Um, it, it <laughs> <laughs> watch Fiddler on the Roof. It's a classic. Um, nine points really of cold damage. Laser wolves. <laughs> he is mortal. As uh, you hit him uh, with the with the tentacle, he like goes through him. And he's like running up the stairs, like, like freezing over as he's trying to get up. And then have him make a dexterity. 
Saving. He's pretty good at those. I'm just gonna say. No. I'm just gonna say he rolled a six, which is an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very good. Still a good bonus though. Decent at the very least. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, 19 radiant damage. 19, he is dead. How do you kill him? Um, so he, like, freezes as the yeah, tentacle yeah. goes, whoosh, like it wraps around him, and then just a wave of radiant energy <laughs> kind of shatters him. Nice. <laughs> shatters him. You have know casting shatter. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Kurt's turn. That's Kurt. <laughs> Just a second here, guys. <laughs> one moment. Why are you telling us one moment? Sure. Was, was something was probably that happened. Him that said that? Huh? That, was that him that went? Yeah. Oh my God. I it was, was Jordan. <laughs> no. I thought you were making noises no. for him. Oh boy. Um, He's a squeaky boy. He's a squeaky, squeaky lad. Mm-hmm. Five. I was checking my tags. Ten. 15, oh. 20. Oh no. <laughs> we don't run her. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I, 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 I. Yeah, you don't fly very fast. Yeah, no, I don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You wait, can wait, see. Wait, 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 wait. You can see me. <laughs> your lamp I, and your encumbrance are not stopping yourself. <laughs> you're far from moving. You have a speed of 30 feet. Okay. You can move through these things. Yeah, yeah. I, maybe the encumbrance. <laughs> theoretical way. I was just saying, <laughs> it's a mental encumbrance now. Oh, yeah, yeah. All the guilt um, and memories. <laughs> so much of a burden. Guilt. <laughs> it's fine. I might just. Oh, fuck. Cast a thing here, and that's fine. I don't need to move anymore. Um, let's just... <sighs> let's just do a bop. A b- what are you bon- we'll bonking? I think I'm going to bop this guy. With a what? With a... With a bop. N- with a bop. Two with a negative energy flood. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, constitution saving throw, please. Negative energy flood? Five. You just flood him with negative energy. He's gonna blow up and be like, <laughs> no. and like pop. He just pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, he's got boots. Uh, and he he's like, my boots. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. He was like, oh, give me my boots. <laughs> I'm dumb and I didn't open up the spell and the spell says something that I'm like, oh, no, I don't wanna do that. Okay. Does it like come back? It's, no, it's well, zombie yes. Guys. But if it if the target's undead, they get. Who's tapping? Oh! I don't want to do that. Oops! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> um, I've never felt more unalive! <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, negative energy flood. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, exactly. Like, oh, we wait, hold on. He's got to distract him now. Let's. He puts him on. Tap boots. Tap boots. Let's just mm-hmm. be simple and mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. told the dead wasn't safe. 16. Uh, still that's. 19 half row. That's really huge. Yeah. <laughs> um, that is 13 plus. That is 20, so 10. That's already halved. He's bloodied. Cool. Um, um, can I move through of the things? Yep. I just, just can't end your turn in them. I'm just, I, I can move 10 feet and just get out to the other side. All right, there you go. You're like, excuse um, me, pardon me. <laughs> excuse me, pardon me. That <laughs> one that's behind Thanks. you, Phelan. Excuse me, Rubik's Cube. He's going behind to me? You. He's in front of you. Got it. That's in front of you. Uh-huh. He's going to run okay. wow. forward that way. He's wow. scared of you. You're whacking him. He's okay. like him. Uh, five, 10, 15. He's got Stop. S- stuff I need. Turn left. So. 25, 30, 35, turn. <laughs> other way, other way. There you go. He's gonna go that way. He sees Lily and he's like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> so he's gonna try to. Uh, ooh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he can say they're all just uh, climbing. He'll, they'll just climb it. he'll keep. He'll. No. He'll no. keep no. going no. diagonally this way. Fuck. This way. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There. Stop. Uh, stitch. <sighs> Can I see him from here? Mm-hmm. You go over and he's just like, ah, ah. he's like running over. <laughs> Shoot him. He takes, he's taking my kill, this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bro. Oh, I want he's to, He's flipping though. the coin. Oh. Oh. 
If you uh, give away 18. your soul. Yeah. 18? Yeah. 18 hits. Cool. You want to give away a piece of your soul to do double damage? Oh, I was going to say, if you give up your soul, you can do What is this guy's current something. condition? Don't do that. Mortar no, he's mortal. Bloody. Don't do it. He's bloody? No, he, you told me he's, he's mortal. No, he's bloody. No, yeah. I said mortal, and I said, sorry, bloody. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. meant to say bloody. I said, I was really uh, Yeah, I'll do that for 20 damage. Sure. Subtract a point from your wisdom, charisma, or intel. Sure. So we're going to look over and does stitch that kill just like... It does! Oh, you yeah. shoot him, he falls on the ground dead. Phelan, it's your turn. That one. So how tall are the shelves? 30 feet. All right, my wisdom is now 10. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're tall. Mm By the way, you, you never asked, I don't think, with uh, Got him. Laszlo or, or I, are we able to do Where? that same thing? You don't have a soul to give away. That's what I Behind the thing. Oh. I, I just want to make sure Shelf? that was... Yeah. I mean, darn, I have this 11 For some reason, I forgot what that <laughs> word is for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. So that's the benefit we get. They get the flying. We can yep. oh, give away things. soul. It was right soul here. Power. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I have this. Uh, eight I mean, he'll go like right there. You know. Okay. I can't. I can't reach my mini. Where? So. Sorry. I'm sorry. Right in front of Lilia. Right here. Uh, there's no no thing. No. It's no dead. shadow guest. No. You're like where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Behind where? Oh, uh, I. I. I'll I, point. I saw him run this way. <laughs> you can probably see me. I'll point over there. Phelan, right behind you. Uh-huh. Where you're standing. Uh huh. Let me just make sure. <laughs> yes, right behind you, where you're standing. <coughs> uh-huh. uh, because your passive perception is fucking uh-huh. 27. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> you see, you see uh, something familiar among, among the things uh, 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 on the wall. There's just this amalgamation, this clutter everywhere. And then you see this glimmering sword that you recognize. That's mine now, you know. <laughs> Yoink. Okay. Yoink. Oh, um, I'll, I'll point. It's between the giant circle pillar and the shelf. Hmm. Okay, well, that was 30, 25, 40, <laughs> Phelan's like, 45. <laughs> out of breath. Yeah, okay, well. Right over there. Oh. <laughs> Skewered against the, <laughs> the yeah, shelf. Yeah. My brother's in there, so. The eye patch is just like Oh, good thing I didn't there. hit the eye patch. Laszlo. Oh, I got the mask. You have it. You're holding it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's obtained. Your face is so good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nothing happens. Okay. You just have it now. I, pre- I appreciate um, you, Grace. I will. <laughs> the I'll look take of don't you fucking yeah. down. Uh, what a token suit. Take like the strap <laughs> and I'll kind of tie it around my belt. Done. Remember um, the goblin we have? Yeah, he belt. killed your husband again. <laughs> That's That's right, for real. For something really good this time. Uh, oh, like, what you do? You can do it. He takes it. Okay. Really when I pick it up, does it become incorporeal or is it corporeal? No, you can interact with it. I'll take it. Um, and I'll look down over the rest of the group. Um, Don't look down at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I look up to all of you and for many different You're reasons. like level with Kurt, but everybody else you look down. <laughs> That's a um, weird level to be on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kurt's level? Yeah. <laughs> anybody need any help? Uh, need there's anything? a guy over here. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're so <laughs> fighting! Yeah, 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 you're so fighting! <laughs> <good one. laughs> Uh, I didn't realize you were still fighting. 20, 25, 30. I ran right past you. Um, Phelan was like, my brother? (laughs) You could have said so. For my my boy, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's that mom and the baby and the other baby's drowning. Um, That's a problem. I'm coming, my boy! Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start my turn within uh, five feet of this guy, Maybe and he's stinky, right? Like this, you stinky. can't smell anything. A natural twenty. Uh, A natural twenty. You plugged stinky. your nose before this. He's not stinky, right? He smelled worse. Yeah. <laughs> On your con save, or is that a tackle? Uh, my con save. Oh, now that's, you're that's immune first, to stinky right? for twenty-four hours. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, you never answered. Is it for all of them, or just the one? It's just, them. just his hey. stinky, and then I'll attack twice. His special brand of stinky. Yeah, kind of you roll another 20? I did. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I do that, that's like this guy's face right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah. Uh, 23. He's got 21 health. How do you kill him? Oh. Um, I stab him. <laughs> yes. And I take his boots. 
That's a guy's soul. I put them back on the shelf. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? Why did you guys have a combo? Guys, like, we need another follow <laughs> moment. <laughs> um, we could do it. No. Jacob, Kurt is going to look at the items on this shelf. As you look upon the items on this shelf, you see one that looks familiar to you. You see a... <laughs> it looks so it's familiar. Like it's like a. Hang on, I'm trying to re- remember. It's the hoof of a goat. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Well, does Lazlo have a red- wedding ring? Oh, I'll read it, Wheaton. Yeah. Does he wear it? Would. You see a familiar ring. Put it in my pocket. <laughs> I'm not gonna. You're just, you just leave with it. You don't. Yeah. Leave. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what? I don't think he does have one. I really? think, I, I don't know. I would wow. say, well, they have those wow. virtual platinum wow. bracelets. He's got they one of those do, shitty yeah. oh, uh, no. well, rubber fucking, things. Why yeah. you have that? It's a platinum bracelet that uh, that, uh, that, pl- that Platinum that bracelet set with a sapphire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, guys, it was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's okay. I was going to say, like, maybe they would. It's a like, wedding well, band. A wristband. Yeah. It's got WWJD on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WWKD. What would Keeper do? Yeah. And then on top of it is a is a is a rubber band that says um, live strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> live free. John three sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> I heard movies. I heard movies. I was thinking. I was thinking. Oh, that's uh, uh, you. You've seen Laszlo. Uh, this it's very familiar to Laser you. Wolf. You've eyed that piece of jewelry <laughs> that you wear. I showed it off before. And you and you see me like that's very unique. And you see it on the shelf. And you're like, huh? And you take it and you have it now. Um, it's the jewel look around. Yeah. You start looking around. Yeah. You, uh, all that while We're you just see a bunch of stuff. You know, like, <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. I no, yeah, I killed him. Oh, it's, God. It's, <laughs> thank you, though. Pick, pick anything. Pick an item. Dildo. A mundane keepsake. A mundane keepsake. Yeah. Crap. A. I... <laughs> You know what? God. Sure. What? <laughs> a what? I no. Mean, a weed pipe. No. Oh, no. 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 Pipe. Sorry. A crack, crack, pipe. crack pipe. A crack pipe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Don't go down that path. If I it's stop a smoking pipe. drugs. It's a Gandalf pipe. Hey, I have a question. Uh-huh. What do you think would happen if we just brought some random asshole back to life? <laughs> <laughs> out of a crackhead, no less. Out of all of the items to pick up <laughs> and take know. back with us. It's a smoking pipe. It's a Gandalf pipe. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, uh, it's a crack. I don't know pipe. if this would interest uh, you, but this guy go. has a Goblin Monster deck. What? Yeah. I go over and I look yeah. at it. Can I? There any, are there any can bears? Can I roll his? It's your father's deck. No. Are you actually serious? It's, I'm serious. 100%. Oh, my God. <laughs> you look through the cards. You're like, my <laughs> grandpa <laughs> made this. I mean, my father made this. Property of He put his whole heart into it. He's destroyed me so many times with this. <laughs> it, it's true. These are handmade. You know, one one day, some like weird on. wizard dude came by, said something about him being sent to like like the forgotten realms. <laughs> No, I, I didn't know what they were. He has this proverbial psychic card. gun appears. <laughs> <laughs> Prepare to blow your brain. <laughs> Elmer shows oh, up. This, this, this is how Stitch bitch. dies because I'm <laughs> fucking. Medical. Sorry, everyone. The Shadow Realm was already used. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this place called the Forgotten Realm. <laughs> 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 All right, well, so I get the eye patch too because now we have. We're, you have uh, the eye patch. Yeah, yeah and, and go and you pick it up. Yeah, and uh, you also have the sword. Put the cards together. Exodia. Uh, all right, have we found so how do we? How do I bring this guy back to life? Your yeah. dad? Yeah. Uh, what? We don't know how to get back. <laughs> I thought you know how to put souls back in their Should bodies. Should we just go back the way we came? Do we have everything? I think so. Well, I got my dad now. What you got we, the mask. I see have? it on your. I've got Ashkari's mask. I have my brother and core. I didn't find anything. You've got some boots. Who's oh, boots I put the, I put them back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, uh, you go anyone? and you put the boots back, uh-huh. and uh, as you push them back, you look over and you see something slightly familiar. You see a floppy red hat with golden diamonds embedded into it. <laughs> I found Sybil. <laughs> I think it's Sybil. <laughs> His hat seemed bigger. <laughs> it's definitely bigger. <laughs> 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 You there. You're like, wow, it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a clean ass. <laughs> they put it through. They put it through the dryer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, 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 
looks like fucking Shadow Kai. It's like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, my and, and, and then everything else is pink. Oh, oh no. no. You bring him back to life and he's small? <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's a pixie now. No, he's like, oh, guys, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Where's my badger? Uh, no, it's, it's pretty big. Okay, um, his capybara. Whatever. Yeah. I didn't. I, I don't remember that that far back. It died. Okay. Um, yeah. Has anyone Did, found my? Uh, I was gonna ask. Is there something? Oh, got it. Great. All right. Um. um I, I mean, he deserves to live. As you sort of say this, and you look around, and you sort of all right. You look over, and as your eyes sort of glaze across one choose, part, choose, right? you, your eye patches something. Like committing suicide. No, he'll choose to come back if, like, we take him back. Not, not if we <laughs> force him to come back. Did, oh, well, did by, he, by, did he, like, by ripping did his you guys soul out try to bring him back? We couldn't. Did you try? We he did no sort of. of say that he didn't want to. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, you were there. I would know I wasn't. I killed him and then left. You were sort of there. You were right there when it happened. Oh, that's the guy you killed. Yeah. <laughs> your eyes glaze over this area, Lelia. You you stop and you feel like you recognize something. You look over. You walk closer to one of the cubbies. So you look inside. This cubby is empty, except for a doll. And it's strange because none of the other cubbies are empty. This is the only one that has a singular item in it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's been placed to be found. Yeah. Well, it's well, kind of what we came here for, right? right? Is that your creepy doll in there? Yes, it is. This side's version of it. Came here for you. Well, I mean, you. Go ahead and grab it. Whoever's in that sword. A core. Core. Oh, core. <laughs> Your brother. Mm-hmm. Philip's like, I don't, I don't fucking even know. Uh, <laughs> I just grabbed some pirate. Philip, <laughs> <laughs> Philip's gonna fold the hat and put it back. You, you do so. <coughs> Rest in peace. You got anyone you wanna take back? I'm, I've got. Uh, A laser I've got Paladaddies. Paladaddy? Excuse me. I have a question. <laughs> what? Is this like the final resting place? For like, like should should he be somewhere else? Is he just being kept here by the Raven Queen? I and don't, if yes, I don't can know. we send him to that somewhere else? I think this is the resting place of the memory of the person. Okay, so he's not so, stuck here. So right? his soul is in whatever heaven or hell he would exist in. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, they, I mean, Tethers just just still is in the abyss. <laughs> He's sitting on Grass's throne domain. Grass is like, didn't I? Kill you? <laughs> yeah, I'm here to fuck kill you. you. <laughs> Stibbles is just a demon lord. I'm here to. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, yeah, he's like, yeah, I wanted to shake your hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm here just to. Just for the you. sake of um, this, I don't want to be DM comes in to explain lore or anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it still follows the same principles that everything else has. The soul still has to be willing. Okay, so we the could soul, take the Sybil's soul hat with us. stored in this item. <laughs> okay. It, it, is, it is just like what Tyler said. It's, it's like a, a remembrance, the memory of who Okay, then I will it's take it. Just, and if he wants to come like back, he can. Yeah. But I'm not going to force his soul back yeah. into a little no. tiny body. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just morbid curiosity. While Laszlo's kind of looking around as everyone's taking inventory, does he spot anything that reminds him of uh, Greb Bright Eyes? <gasps> oh. Oh. Uh, roll investigation. Fourteen. You begin to scour. You begin to look around. Um, everybody, you just watching as Lazlo is just sort of peering through a bunch of objects. And um, as you get to uh, one cubby, you see the shimmer of something white beyond um, uh, some objects, and you push beyond them, and you see the small tea set. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll kind of pick up one of the cups and I'll look at it, and I say. I'm gonna get her out of here, Grad. I promised you I'd take care of her. I'm going to. I'll just set it down. All right, we good to go? I think, I think so. so. Okay. You I'm have your emotional. thing. All right. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> just oh. from how long ago was that? Now like so four, four years. years. Yeah. Two. Like four or five years. Four or five years. I said years. Oh, I thought you said four years like I did. 
Yeah, that was like yeah we played that in 2020, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Two years ago was 2020. Yeah, you know, in the middle years. of the pandemic. We played it in, it was like, like 2016. 2016, 2015. Yeah. Six years? Okay, well, oh my 2015. God. I was still in high school. No, 2015 we played Inconsistencies. So <laughs> I think we didn't play that for very long. We, no, no, but we I would about say it was about, about like 2018. Pretty sure. Like Mortals? Spring I think 18. So I can, probably, I can, probably, I can probably find probably out. Just, let's just, then we did Stormlands right, right after, pretty yes, much. Right. Yes, right. And Grud no, went halfway. Went 17. I think it was 17. I the 17 think. because I, uh, that's the year I lived at that crappy apartment. Mm -hmm. yeah. And oh, 18 yeah. was when I lived at the new at the new one. Um, mm -hmm. And we finished Immortals in that new apartment, but yes. we played it and streamed and that. Remember at that? At yeah. the crappy one that was 2017. Mm -hmm. I was still working at Target at the time. Before you went full time on YouTube. We finished it. Marshall's house, didn't we? I fucking told you. Immortals? Yeah. We I finally, no. We finished it. No. We finished the the second to last game was there at Marshall's. There were two Marshall's. parts. Part one was at Marshall's <coughs> house. Part two was at our new apartment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, shut up. I was no. right. I remember it. We used that living room and it was But we yes. did play at Marshall's house. It was house. not. It we looks like okay. there were messages in our old chat leading up to April of 2018. Yeah, because I couldn't be so. in Stormlands because I was transferring to school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I know we played so that So it was 2017 when Greg died. So that's anyway. five years yeah. of storytelling. <laughs> that, that's like five years ago. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Um, Let's go. I'm not going to bring Grud out. Just be like... Uh, see <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if Grud would want to come back. Well, the, he could That's choose. the idea, right? That's true. Choose. You know what? I, with that knowledge, it? I'll take the time. <laughs> okay, you do so. Where the worst he's going to do say no. <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> that's so. I, mean, I mean, that's cool and all. But. Uh, it does mean we'd be bringing back a, a Grud. I've only got And it's like 50 right? years <laughs> later. Yeah. It's like, welcome back. If I didn't so get that extra happened. one point of wisdom yeah. from the egg, I probably would have left it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Grud. Let's go. Alright, um... I'm not sure how we get back. So you just, you know, do the You see face. one more thing that you remember. Okay. Stop. Don't you do it. As you pass by one more, you, you look over and you, you recognize um, two objects. Oh boy. They're in the same cubby. One of them is this chain and pendant. It has a symbol on it. Swear Chile used to wear it. Oh. And then next to it are a pair of Tonfa. Aww. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Lazarus' <coughs> heart just breaks. Um. He takes them. <laughs> Fuck. It's not what I thought it was. <laughs> Wait, who'd you think? Azrael. <laughs> yeah, but you see. She goes back to her universe. You see right. a gun, and then like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> Kill my wife. Oh, God. <laughs> you you get that gun, you go. <laughs> 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 no, it shoots my wife. <laughs> uh. You were half red. Yeah. Oh. I was. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so long. Like it has yeah. yeah. I know. I don't know. I just. We bring her back. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so stupid. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm, this is so dumb. I need to think about this. Well, Adjacent <laughs> to your cubby, Lelia, you see an object reminiscent of each of your family members. Uh, yeah. We're well, bringing back. I was something. wondering about that. Though. At what cost? Just, I don't know. Just raining with like, <laughs> 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 an antique sword. Critiques her while she's in her catatonic state. Phelan, you would also see something reminiscent of, oh. uh, of a lyric. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> her, you don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's still in for some reason. Fortunately, the yellow star is still alive. You know, you know how they say you like, if you want if you want the DM to not though, right? get at you through your family, just He's make your character's Superman's parents prison? dead. I Jacob so, found yeah, a way. Claire so. <laughs> <laughs> was gonna be my to you know, was my other games, option so. for characters, yeah. so I mean it would have either way been trauma. <coughs> uh, I mean, yeah, he would take it. I feel like it's a little roughly carved bear totem that he made when he first started. Um... <laughs> 
Anyone else? <laughs> the Raven yeah. Queen's gonna come back and just be like, Can we even bring all these people back? Well, let's find out. It's worth a shot. We should probably go in order of the ones that you uh, that we need back more, uh, right? Like, don't we need your wife back, like, yeah, yeah, actually so to survive and in this yourself? universe? Preferably me as well. Oh, right, yeah. right, of course. But I mean, like, like, didn't well, we come here to get your wife? Because if, you, if, your wi- if your wife dies and is actually dead, then the universe, like, ceases to exist, right? right? Or something like that, because she's not here to protect uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. She's Do also I just a very nice lady. Yeah, she's also my wife. Back. Back. Oh, that's fair. She is a nice lady. I just have to try. Okay. <clears throat> so how do you do this? It's worth a shot. Give them a chance. Do we need to go back outside? Can can we go back? Can you outside? just do that cool like I don't know. soul you thing you did, but backwards? Shove us yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, sure. I sit down. I can only try. Just try it. Just try it. On me if I die and then I die. Um so uh, should we try it on someone who's already dead? But, but I like Laszlo. Lelia can't do it on um, herself. Uh, Lili, um, you, I'm going to make you roll. If you do this, you, you are going to make a permanent decision to shunt Philip out of this scenario permanently until you go back. That's kind of what if I was If you do this, <laughs> you're, you're, Philip's done. You need all of them for a reason. We could, uh, mm-hmm. I pulled up the Goblin Monsters deck. We could test it on my dad. Well, if we're just testing it to make sure that like nobody that you know is required to save the world perishes, like, what if he just comes <laughs> back like in a coffin somewhere? <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> My brother oh, is a cleric. I mean, mm-hmm. that would be terrible if, to can, just shunt him back. If he's buried one of the people that you bring back, one of the first. Oh, mm-hmm. that's true, huh? That kind of sucks. I can ask him. The eye patch begins to glow. Oh fuck. What? Sir, no, not now. And you watch oh, as it begins to float upwards, and you can't seem to grab it, and oh. it begins to glow, and it glows, and you watch Fucker. as a spectral purple hand grabs it, and they both disappear. What? Oh, fuck. What was that? Can no, I, can never I, mind. Can I, can I make a check of some sort to figure out what Did that was? Did the Raven nope. Queen just kidnap my brother? I sent you a message. All right. Uh, What's what? him look What's like? That? It was like a humanoid purple hand. All right. I think we need to do this fast then and get uh, get uh, the keeper back before they get handed away. <laughs> Roll an insight check. <laughs> no, actually, no. You, know what? no. you can just you can just think about that. It's just your brain. Um. A purple How? hand. How? How though? A huh? purple hand. Yes, I know now. I don't. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying how. Like he used to play him. How? Yeah, don't worry about. It. Oh, that's don't not what about. this was about. That was about <laughs> something else. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something that you I are. shouldn't. Sorry. I feel like my brain isn't firing. It's okay. I'm not either. And Jordan's over here. You just sacrificed like, just think yourself. About it. Just think yeah. about it. Just okay. think about it. We lost that. We lost that part, Colton. It's gone. Just. I'll take the map. Should we? Happen. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna hope it's okay. If the Raven Queen is interfering, then we've only got a short. I feel like she wouldn't use her hand. Maybe she'd use the you know whole thing. I I don't know. I Um, still think we should probably get this one over with at least. Yes. The one that's integral to the entire universe. I'm trying to think. Do we need Do we need to do anything else here? Uh, I. I don't think so. Didn't we? We. We you, came here to get these We things. have more than what we came with. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're walking away with more. You guys watch, like, Philip is kind of, like, walking around, like, looking around at a bunch of stuff. Philip? Huh? What are you looking for? Uh, nothing specific. Um. Am I elaborating? I you, swear. you guys mentioned you went to the Hells and Cardos didn't come back. Okay, you're right. I was just looking for something that might be his, but I can't find anything. And I don't know if that's good or bad. Hmm. 
either we just either we, you're just not finding it or I, he's I, not th that's fair i don't see very well um and there's some of this stuff's pretty I mean, high there's a lot of shelf. stuff here there's a lot of stuff it could be buried yeah I thought we were able to find all of, all of our stuff so easily. I, That's I, why I, I think I, uh, that I, he's not here. I really, I really hate to do this, but I swear to all the gods that I don't believe in, we need to get the keeper out of here. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna stay here, let's get her out. I agree. Um, she might be able I, to help us. I don't know how exactly this works, so I'm it's worth a shot. Just, just try to do what you did to us. <laughs> 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 Only just, you know. Can you can here. you do your soul thing? Is that what you're doing? She's trying. Don't. That's a that that's that, that gesture is gonna there. catch uh, Kurt's attention. Don't. Yeah. No. Well, if I try it this way. <laughs> don't. What? Don't don't press and hold in my I don't Not know. This. <laughs> oh, oh, they come back with the item, and that would be them. Uh, oh, hi, ma'am. No, wait. Hey, oh. <laughs> well, we gotta do. Something. Do we have? Do I have any idea how we would be bringing? people back and back using these items. Uh, no. You have no idea. At this current time, where you are right now, you are unaware of what you're supposed to do with these things. You know what? I don't even know what I'm doing here, to be honest with you. I could take the mask and you could send me back. And then if it doesn't work, you guys probably aren't missing a whole lot. Just give you all the items? No, you don't have to give me all of them, just give me the one. Maybe it'll fail. Maybe the maybe the mask will just fall where I'm standing, and then we find out that I'm not supposed to do work that way. And hopefully, Gross won't be there to murder me. <laughs> <laughs> he, li he likes you, you genuinely. He does. Yeah. Well. I, I can keep him company okay. or something. I guess you're the. I, the, I don't I, know why. I, I, I just think him liking things is I, also, you know. I'd rather be in the good graces of a demon lord than against him right now. To right. be honest I, with yeah. you, I think he's never told me to kill you. That's good. Yeah. I, I think it'd be better for Lasso to go with the mask. It's, it's, it's his wife. What, whatever you wish. I, I mean. Um. Uh, uh, well, here then. I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna suggest that. Thanks. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Oh yeah, that's probably. Important because you've got one, and then you're yeah, holding. Yeah, it's. <laughs> this is the only thing I can do. Yeah. Give it a try. I love her. Dude. See you on the other side again. I sure hope so. Your hand goes through Lasso. Oh. No, we're incorporeal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop it, that tickles. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like we're going to have to find another way out of here. Yeah, I could take your band. Okay. Just and let's give it to someone who's more corporeal, maybe. Try it again. Give it a shot. Give it take a stitch. Give it a band and, and uh, and mask. Band and mask. Band and mask. Is that going to band for you out of here? And you I have the... the, no. the you go over towards I'm Stitch. On my deck. And you go over towards him, and you begin to send his soul back to his body. And as you begin to push, there's something connected to it. Another soul. You're going to send two souls back. But then two more push themselves in the equation, and it's too much. And then it fails. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so what's up? As I, as I tried to pull, push your soul back, uh -huh. the other one's jumped onto the rack. Right. Okay. Oh, so so how many can I get take? one soul out. Can I just take myself? I think I can send your your soul and one other. I hold up the mask. I give you your own soul. And I count. I go, you. You have Stibbles. That's his name, right? I don't think so. If you said Stibbles didn't want to come back in the first place, then I don't how think I should have? try again. I just have cores now. <laughs> You. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes. And you I'm have. Yeah, that. I'll put yeah, Sybil's back on the shelf. Kay. Well, I just I just take my dad's and I go, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> I only knew him for a couple years. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Brutal. Uh, before, <laughs> before he died in a rage. You know. So, no, 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 I, if no. you want, if you want. Stibbles back. No, I, if Kurt says that Stibbles didn't want to come back when they tried, then I doubt he'll want to come back now. All right, then I hand you the deck. So we can bring back... If everyone can only bring back one, if you bring him back. Okay. Because I got... We can only bring back four. Well, there's two of you. I can't send him. So we're stuck here? So what? We got you... Oh, I see. 
Well, give me Laszlo. Wait, you can send someone else back with your. I understand. I give you. I give you Laszlo. So we can send the keeper, Laszlo. Then who? Core. You have the sword. One of us right? would have to take the doll. Right. Yes. Oh. If we send. Who do you me have? back? I don't have anyone right now. I've given. We've got too many. There's one too many. Then even if we leave back Stibbles and my dad. Who do we have? have to leave. Chiley and Mallory and, and Greta too. And even then, it's still. There's no guarantee. We're still mi- well, we're still missing. We're still yeah. one too big. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, well, cause right, cause I I would take back the keeper right yes. now. You would take back Laszlo's soul. You would take back Core, and you would take back Lelia. Lelia, about to do with the eye patch. The eye patch I know, is I know gone. That it's gone, but where did it go? It's beyond us now, whatever happens. <sighs> All right, then we whatever have enough. Whatever entity apparently took it. Who knows, who knows what entity what? that is? I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure your <laughs> brother-in-law like, will figure it out, <laughs> right? <laughs> Haha, I have the cleric. Hmm. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Interesting. Regardless, I'm ready okay. for this. Okay. Who do you have with you? I have the keeper. You go over. Do you do it? You, as you push uh, Stitch's soul into the beyond, he doesn't just disappear. It's like there was like a blind spot in your, <coughs> in, your in your sight. It's like he was never there. Wow. And as soon as you do it, it's, the room just has the six of you, the five yeah. of you. Do me next so I can take you to her. Hopefully that works. Okay. Good luck, Phil. Yeah. What, do you, what do you have? I have Laszlo. You go over, same thing. You go over to Philip, and you close your eyes. You open them. He's gone, and so is Laszlo. Oh. Before I disappear, I look at my my, my dead friends' things, and I say, "I'm sorry." And then you're gone. You just have it's just the three of you left in this room. I'm probably next, since yeah, you know. Um, that'd be, that'd be a little. I'm awkward. not here. <laughs> 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 You're like hanging upside down from a chandelier. Like, what? What? (laughs) Why does my head hurt? Before I send you guys away, I want to put in an offer. Something that I know you guys might not be necessarily happy with, but something that might make me feel. I hold out an item towards you, from, like, to Kurt. This was my brother's, my little brother's. Maybe bring him back instead of <laughs> He died Is when it? he was a kid and he was completely innocent and so... Is it what you want? I don't know. But Kerr will insight really. Oh insight. Twelve. You wanna answer? Or? Thirteen. Thirteen. Aggressive <laughs> <laughs> D4. There is a sheer the only emotion you're gathering from Lelia is guilt. Pure guilt. It's your choice. Hang on. I don't know your brother. That's selfish of me, but I don't know him. It's not fair to you. You've worked so hard for all of this. It, 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 your brother might, if it's been so long, the souls, souls move on. And as much as I, I would want to bring my father back, uh, you know, living also hurts. He's, he's done his amount. He, he needs to move on. 
your brother's gonna go to somewhere if he's completely innocent. Somewhere that he would never... He would feel just as guilty. If he finds out that you sacrificed yourself for him... Mm-hmm. Thanks, Mom. Love you, too. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be the same thing. And what's gonna stop him from going down the same path? Co- trying to come back here. To the come back for is years. He didn't move on. He had been with me, and the rest of my family had been with me the entire time. I hope would be to give him another chance to let him live a life, one that he was torn away from. What's yes. to stop him from trying to get you back? You guys? I couldn't do that to somebody, though. No. I, I couldn't stop somebody from trying to come back with a friend. That would... Does Kurt have the doll? Did you give the Kurt the doll? I don't think I gave Kurt the doll. I think I have the doll. That's my opinion, so... If this is me trying to persuade you, I, I can't do that. I'm not good at that. That's just what I think, though. I've been working towards this whole time to help them but I don't know which way is better anymore I don't know if it will happen either way which is why I'm asked we don't know ghosts usually stick around because they have something to stick around for Mm -hmm. what's stopping them from seeing you being happy and moving on being real. I think you've earned a chance to be happy. If I... No, no, you're right. Hopefully, maybe hopefully they'll be able to move on, the, on themselves. If not, then that's just the next step. I get click it all. Right. Send Phelan. Send Phelan back with the sword. Now that Phelan's gone, is this what you want? I don't know, but he made good points. And I don't know if it would help you. I don't know which way's best. I can see both. I think sometimes Phelan speaks from his heart. I I don't think Phelan understands that other people would willingly sacrifice for others. Didn't understand it for Cardos. Doesn't seem to understand it for you. Now, you have been working your whole life to this point, it seems like. The only thing you show passion about is coming here and getting this. And if you feel that this is what you're meant to do, and that would let you rest here. The hard thing is, is I don't know what I'm meant to do anymore. This entire journey, I've gotten... I, I started off thinking I was supposed to do one thing, and then everything else told me otherwise. So why do you want to bring him back?
because I feel responsible for what happened to him. And why like don't... He wasn't able to live the life he was supposed to live. And why don't you deserve to go back? And that's the question that has kept being asked of me, and there is nothing that makes me not deserve to go back. That's the answer I keep coming to. Lily, you once talked about your life as if it was a requirement. As if your bringing uh, brought back by the Raven Queen wasn't something you necessarily wanted. If you're gonna trade it for your brother, personally, I think that is a noble sacrifice. You are my friend. I would love to come back with you. But if this is where your journey ends and his begins, I can take that heat from Phelan and from everyone else. I wish there was a clear right answer, but there isn't. You guys hear the sounds of scuffling in the distance, or spirits, and you see what look like shadow gas in the move all beyond in the distance, or are them getting closer? So, Lelia leans over and hands Kurt something, but we don't see what it is. I assume you cast a spell? Yeah. And Kurt, you're sent back. You all wake up together in um, the fields right outside of the house in Avenant. It's clear. There's a bit of sunlight coming through on the skies up ahead. Phelan, you um, kind of sit up and look around. You feel the wind on your face, the sun against your skin, as you're back on the material plane once more. And you look to your left and you see sitting up as well a stitch. You see Philip, and you see Kurt, and you see Laszlo, whole, and together. And next to Laszlo is Ashkari, who sits up and looks at you, sort of still in the, in the keeper garb, and she just, she embraces you. You also see um, uh, 
a figure, one that you recognize <coughs> slightly. You see long sort of brown hair on her back, it's deep sort of like pinkish purple skin, elven ears as you see Kor push herself over and sit up and look at you, Phelan. But she looks so much different. Colton, do you want to describe the way she looks? Of course. Um, so, as what Jacob said, uh, she looks very similar skin tone-wise and uh, eyes and the hair. Um, her outfit has changed a bit. Uh, I imagine is, or is I imagine everyone just in like whatever. Yeah. Answer out there. Um, she kind of has uh, a black and golden. Um, garb that kind of goes uh, goes from her shoulders down her sides and uh, and stops at her waist down into uh, shorts and boots that fall that come up, come up to mid calf um, and strangely almost as if uh, it's become a part of her now um, along her shoulders connected uh, are, are black raven wings or mm -hmm. uh, uh, feathers just kind mm -hmm. of uh, spiraling out. And along her body, um, the parts you can see uh, uh, are like black shadowy wisps that almost move as if uh, as if moving tattoos. And she just kind of looks up. She also has sort of like this um, kind of going up like her neck and towards like the side of her face. Um, it's like very dark and sort of veins as like it sort of creeps up the side of like her face and up her neck and towards the side of her chin um, as, as she sort of looks at you with like this pale sort of look and stares at you. Where art? <laughs> That's some, some <laughs> Welcome back. She sort of looks around confused. I'm back? Yes, you're back. Hopefully. I mean, if this is you, you've kind of come back a couple times. Kind of a weird. Sorry, just give me a moment. She sort of looks around and begins to collect herself. Kurt, that conversation with Lelia. You look around, you don't see anybody else here. You look up. Um, there's somebody lying in the field a good distance away. About 30 feet. Kurt's gonna... You walk your way over, and you push aside the, um, the, the, the wheat and the grass peer down who has uh, come back from the Fortress of Memories. But that's what will end tonight's game. <laughs> Sheesh. Sheesh, guys. Sheesh. That was crazy. Uh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that was Vincent's hand. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. revived Kyria. Gotcha. <laughs> After a bit, yeah, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. That does make a lot of but sense. Like, also, how? <laughs> Philip, I've got a lot. What? I've got a lot of money. Don't worry Phillip about it. <laughs> didn't find anything of Cardos's. <coughs> Worth mentioning. Worth mentioning. He also has a passive of nine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks for joining everybody yeah. for tonight's Holy game shit. Fall. This was pretty <laughs> fucking crazy. Oh this my game's god. This game's gonna be Not wacky. So. Not so <laughs> insane. Um, it's a good time. Yeah, there's a lot that can still happen is the thing. It's like, it just really depends on who came back. So, um, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, we will see you guys. Tomorrow we're gonna be playing Icewind Dale because Marshall's out of town. So Freaking we're gonna Marshall. play some Icewind Dale around the Frost Bay instead of Fallout. Uh, so Oops. <laughs> it's, it's the Ice Wind and Even Fall channel. Now. <laughs> um, <Wind. laughs> yeah. uh, all of his, we're just losing Rhyme all fall. the campaigns. It's going to become fall. all of it's going to be Ice Rhyme Wind. Fall, yeah. That's all. That's all yeah. we're going to do is Ice Wind call. Yeah. Ball. <laughs> Better call uh, ah, thanks everybody. We'll see you guys next time. Appreciate you. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Good That's the end of the stream. Have a good night. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Blizzard. Oh,